What's up boys, I'm Parasynical, and today I watched the Gemini catalogue, which is honestly one of the most terrifying analogue horror series I've ever seen. There's some goofs, there's some laughs, there's planets that want to devour everyone. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you enjoy. World's weirdest animals. Yeah, rural Minnesota is pretty weird, I'd say. Wilkin County. I'm assuming this is when it becomes fictional, like Mandela. Because Mandela was like a, a town or a county, right? Animal one. The cow. Oh, look at that little fella. Greater prairie chicken. It looks a bit like a female pheasant. Like, I get those in my garden. Someone said, what the fuck is that in chat? <laughs> you seen a bird? Native to the Central North America, great prairie chickens are known for their prominent air sacs and protruding ear-like feathers. They're cute. They're cute. Look at him. He's doing a little Fortnite dance. These birds often engage in lecking, a form of mating ritual. The males utilize their air sacs to impress females. So they just pull their nuts out, like, just full force. I respect it. During the winter, greater prairie chickens have been observed diving into snow to stay warm. How weird. <laughs> How weird? Isn't that what, like, foxes do as well? You just see them, like, diving into snow. Clay County. Animal two. Your mom. <laughs> Burrowing owl. Animals so good, they made a second one. <laughs> they finally made animal two, guys. I'm so happy. Once found all over the Americas, this small critter is now far more elusive. Will, will they make Animal 3 though, guys? As their name suggests, these owls create large burrows for their nests instead of creating ones in trees. What is this? It, it's Animal 2. You idiot. You idiot. You imbecile. Burrowing owls like to live in prairies and open fields where they can use old squirrel or badger holes for their nests. You should try watching the vid on the scariest movie ever made. The scariest movie ever made? Isn't that the come and see one? Cope and Sneed. Everywhere. Ah, the music has stopped. The music has stopped. And the background is going red. Animal 3. Thank you, Natty, uh, for the resub. It's going to be a jump scare. Oh, great. Okay. Yep. Wood crawlers. Found all over North America, these animals are excellent hunters, being able to trade most terrain without making a sound. Ah. Uh, someone pointed out on my last stream, I sunk more lower into my chair, the more scared I got. Their preferred nesting locations are inside the homes of large families, where large swarms can adapt easier. That's nice. Thanks for suggesting this, guys. I did want to sleep tonight. You will hear screaming. Subtlety. They stole their voices. Ah. Burn the bodies, lest they stand up again. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Nature's mockery. Don't you, don't you link it, don't you be doing jump scares in the first episode. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Guys, I didn't sign up for Scary Maze Game. I'm, I'm here to be immersed. I'm not having some jump scare come up within five minutes. 
Oh mein Gott. Oh, thank you, Katia, yeah, for the resub. There's someone in that house. There is someone in that house. I honestly appreciate your insistence, mate. I love you so much. Lots of love from Saudi Arabia, Jeddah. Completely irrelevant question. Can we be friends? Thank you, Omar, for the 15. Hell yeah, I love Saudi Arabia. There's two people in there. One of them is literally in, like, a soft tea pose. So, they've been, like, taken over, right? Well, they're not even taken over, they're just replaced entirely. It's kind of like the, uh... It's like chewing. It's like eating moldy bread. I like how, have you noticed with these like YouTube horror series, it's always people that live in the middle of nowhere that are motivated to make stuff like this. Oh, nice. He's definitely going to spot you, bro. Like peripheral vision is the thing. Don't stand that far behind him. You're just asking to get nanaed. Don't do it. Fake people. I like how it still has, like, the, the infographic pop-up. So they've been killed and replaced by the wood crawlers. Like, they're not even possessed. They're just, like, complete imitations. So they are similar to the, uh, alternates from the Mandela. They're very similar. Although, although the alternates couldn't really replicate people very well. Oh, no. Alternates had doppelgangers, yeah. They had, like, three versions. And the first version was the most, like, perfect. She's just hovering around the house. <laughs> I just imagine behind the scenes, she's just like a hoverboard. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Get out of there. Is that blood on the on the on the glass? He's asking to get killed. Thank you, just Flippy for the sub and Declan and Hoke. Uh-oh. Oh, he been snitched on. Yep. Run, bro, run! Get out of there, young man. Obli so someone in chat said Oblivion NPCs. <laughs> now, they're all just waiting around to give you like a side quest, man, like they were harmless. Is that it? Yep. Okay, so that's the f Okay, for a first episode, that was really good. You could definitely tell the guy just got his family to like do all this weird shit but like the way it was framed and the fact that it was out of focus and all that stuff that was that was really good and that little spider leg as well i'm assuming from one of the wood crawlers that for a first episode that was stronger than uh the overthrown uh from mandela but that's because overthrown was literally just an edited video not any irl stuff but again you're not meant to watch overthrown first i guess okay so this one's also got no subtitles so this is storm safety tips gemini home entertainment I'm not going to read the comments. Yeah, that's it, okay. It annoys me the later episodes have more views. That, that That's always the case, though. That's like the, the sun vanished. You know, the... Uh, you know, the sun vanished. Like that, that series on Twitter. Uh, I don't even think they've run that account. Hang on. Let me check if they've run that account anymore. Because there was a Twitter account that was ran. Oh, God. Flashbang moment. Okay, flashbang moment. The sun vanished. Oh, no, 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 no. The, the sun vanished is still going. So I'll cover this another time. But basically, the sun vanished was... Uh, it's an account ran by a guy LARPing in a universe where the sun disappeared. The sun just completely vanished. So he's basically documenting his survival. Oh, shit, can't even read it. But yeah, he's documenting everything that he sees and stuff. It's really good. It's really good. It's kind of been hijacked. Yeah, it's a good ARG. It's kind of been hijacked by 12-year-olds just spamming, like, Fortnite memes in the replies, which kind of sucks, but yeah. Thank you, uh, Macra, for the gifted sub to Xbox. I'm very sure Microsoft need the money. And thank you, uh, Lintu, for the sub. All right, let's watch this one. Storm safety tips. Okay. Brought to you by Harbinge Technologies. 
Oh, you mean Harbinger? Oh, I get the reference there. Storms can be violent and dangerous. In this cassette, you will learn how to protect you and your family when a severe storm hits your home. I can't wait. Part one, prepare in advance. Just gonna pop up now, just saying kill your entire family. You do not want to get caught in a storm unprepared. To prepare your home in case of a storm, follow these steps. Step one, reinforce your home. This may involve improving structural support, replacing roof, shingles, or fixing loose planks. Step two, install an early warning system. This will allow you to know beforehand if a storm or other danger is approaching your home. Recommend Albego, Albedo Alarm from Harbinge, Harbinge Technologies. Can you pause? I need to shit. Yeah, of course, man. We'll wait for you. We'll wait. Go on. Go shit. We'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. We're going to wait for him, guys. It's going to be like five minutes. I'm sure he's done now. Step three, create a storm bunker. Make sure the bunker matches the following measurements. 10 feet tall by 18 foot width. Okay. Create concrete foundation at least eight inches thick. In the center of your bunker, install large aluminum hemisphere. Place shortwave radio next to hemisphere. Recommend timber radio from Harbinge Technologies. Then four to five foot. So you're making a storm bunker and then only turn on radio in the event of an emergency. Part two, what to do during a storm. Well, it's obvious there's like an ulterior motive here, right? It's not just a storm bunker. In the event that a storm hits your home, it is important to follow these steps. I just wonder how this relates to the wood crawlers. Step one, quietly take your family to your bunker. Your home does not belong to you now. There you go. Yep, the subtlety. The subtlety is vanishing. Turn on shortwave radio. I'm just waiting for the kill yourself message. Ignore all sound produced by the radio. These are auditory hallucinations. Right. Okay. Pretty normal. Remain calm. The bank. <laughs> Someone in chat said the bank took the house. Remain calm. Your tears are filled with salt. Part three, after a storm. Yeah, no, this is all like a prank just so the bank can like reclaim the house legally. If you believe the storm has passed, carefully leave your bunker to survey for damages. The, the, the same guy that took a shit just came back and said, Peepoo sad, didn't pause. I mean, if you didn't wash your hands, you, you would have made it back in time, that's all I'm saying. If your house has been severely damaged, check for movement inside. Do you hear the chime? You are safe. The storm has passed over. Look to the field. Do you see the lights? Return to your bunker. Ah. Was that like a mass like Harry Potter spell convention or something? Doing that funny spell, they light up the room. Listen. Under your feet. Guys, guys, I'm not doing a foot reveal. Come on. Crawling through the floor. Instead of kissing the merch I purchased, can you lactate on it? Much appreciated, Queen, on a real note, though. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you, Mucky. I will lactate on the merch. Congratulations, you're now well equipped to defend you and your family against storms. Storm safety tips created by Remy Abode. Can you please turn this off? This is really <laughs> scary. TikTok voice. Also, my mom is watching and she got really scared. I will have to unsubscribe to your channel because of this. Thanks. Oh, sorry, Bear. I'll turn it off. We'll just put on some like Viva Pinata Let's Play or something. My bad. What the fuck is this? Is this a parody? Hang on. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What the fuck is. 
British survival guide. Hang on, what is this? Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. British home. What well, if they done a British one? Or if you want to protect yourself from any aliens, we live in Britain. Storms are not atypical, however, you must be well protected should a storm cause a flood. This video cassette will show the required measurements in order to protect your family. Section 1. Prepare in advance. You live in Britain. You already are prepared for a storm. It's not like storms never happen here. However, if you live in Scotland, we str <laughs> If you live in Scotland, we strongly suggest you get out immediately and move to southwestern country. I mean, true. We wouldn't have them, but true. As aforementioned, your abode has been suited for a storm since its inception. You don't have to do much, but if a violent storm is bound to hit, it is fundamental that you evacuate any settlements that are located in the coasts. Beforehand, you should acquire an alert sigil signal to detect an incoming squall. If a disastrous squall approaches, you should assemble an asylum worth 20 centimeters. The fuck is a squall? Afterwards, you would set up a cupola constructed with aluminium in the center of your asylum. What the fuck is a squall? Finally, you must situate a shortwave radio within the confines of your newly acquired asylum. The Premier Inn Hotel. Oh, that's genius. I, I like I like how they were like renting uh Scotland as well. And I like how it doesn't have Ireland in the uh doesn't have Ireland in the thing at all. Thank you, uh Breadworth for the resub and Nesway for the sub. If you live in Britain, you've already accepted your fate, true? So this one is deep blue. Geneva Production Company. Hmm. It's quite subtle there. Britain is a parody of Bloodborne. <laughs> Shut up, man. The deep blue. This is kind of relaxing. This isn't a horror series. Our ocean is full of mystery and wonder. <laughs> and bodies. 39 bodies. Zero found. Let's take a look at some of the secrets hidden beneath the surface. Isn't this the ocean from One Piece? Okay, chat, chat. Someone tell the guy that watches anime that oceans exist in real life. Here we see a school of fish swimming together as a group. Wow. Wow. What school are they going to, though? <laughs> These fish are often swallowed whole by mammoths like the blue whale. Thirty-nine buried, zero found. Despite its beauty, the ocean can be a very dangerous place. That could be a YouTuber scuba diving. This stingray may look innocent, but it carries deadly poison in its tail. Have you have you guys seen a stingray? What they actually look like? Have you guys seen a stingray? Hang on. Have you seen a stingray's face? Uh, that's that. I'm not even memeing. That's, you should try that's, watching the vid on the scariest movie ever made. That that is actually what they look like. I'm not even joking. Look at that. That's... They actually look repulsive. I mean, that one looks like it's smiling a little bit. They, they, they look, they look kind of cool from, like, the top there. But then as soon as you see their face, you just think, what the fuck? I wouldn't say Q. I wouldn't say Q. Someone said heart. Okay, mods. Mods! However, rays are very gentle and generally only sting when feel threatened. Did this stingray kill Steve Owen? The real danger of the ocean is not its wildlife, but the habitat itself. This isn't even scary, guys. It's kind of relaxing. 
Oh, okay. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. That fucking transition actually scared me more than the actual noise. This is the Mariana's Trench, the deepest place on Earth. The Mariana Trench plus the Demisia. Demi Demisia Tunnel? Is, is that... Hang on. Is, is Demisia Tunnel, like, real, or is that part of the lore? No, the Demisia Tunnel is real. Oh, hang on, no, it's not. Hang on. Is, is it actually real, or has it been, like, added into this? Demisia Tunnel starts in the Mariana Trench and ends in Unknown. Okay, I think it is real. Yeah, no, it, it is, it is, wait, Fanon Wiki. I don't know if this is real or not. Is, is it real? The Domitia Tunnel was discovered on a visit in the Mariana Trench in a submarine. Oh, I think it is real. It's fake? I, I, can't, I, I can't even tell if it's real or not. Because the only example of it is the fan and wiki, right? So it has to be fake? Hang on. Hang on. Oh no, it's fake as shit. Yeah, no, never mind. Yeah, no, that, that that's fake. Yeah, because like, you see all the examples here, it doesn't kind of splinter off, it just kind of ends in a dip. Okay. Yeah, okay, got- okay, my bad for checking the law, guys. My fucking bad. Don't post- don't post the, the fucking laughing Wojak or whatever it is, come on. I'm literally checking! And that just- I, I could- I could be sat here, mindlessly watching this, eating my, like, pot noodle, just be like... Wow, that's so cool. Wow. Wow. Like, I'm- 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 I'm trying to put in effort, guys, come on! Unknown depth. That's where the 39 bodies are. It's like an MLG video or something. Oh, there's something. I, I genuinely can't even tell what that is. It's like a cloud. Hey, Daddy was just wondering if you have seen Moon Knight and if you have what do you think? Moon Knight's just got right. your socks in the mail today. They look and feel great, Pyra. Already slipped on my laminate flooring today. Denton. Ah, don't sue me for that, please. Thank you. Nothing can live inside the Mariana's Trench. Oh, wait. Okay, so, so that thing had like a light emanating from it, right? So that was from the same video where they were talking about the storm bunker and how all those lights are in the field. So, w was that- was that a wood crawler then? Is that what they actually look like? Is that- I'm assuming that's a wood crawler. And they can just- like, that's the name that people have given them anyway. Because that- I'm assuming they saw them in the woods. So that must be like- you Pyro! Thanks for the awesome cutting always! Also, that yeah. shout-out to Heart of Darkness on Zone gave me mad nostalgia! Thanks for that! All good. Yeah, no, Heart of Darkness is a sick game. Literally, like, you can just have your back broken as a child and it's ready to eat for everyone because no blood. It just makes no sense. Uh, this is the next one, right? Yep. So, I'm assuming that's a wood crawler, and that basically shown that they can survive anywhere. They can survive at the bottom of the trench, and they can, like, you know, kill people and take their bodies and stuff. So, okay, we know what they look like. I think if it's the same thing. I don't think that video was, like, insinuating they came from the trench, though. But maybe they did, because why, why else would they be down there? Stop saying Among Us. Stop it. Stop saying Among Us. I'm trying to be immersed in this. Stop saying fucking Among Us. Stop it. Artificial computer learning.
Oh, Bogus. Regnard Computing. Artificial Computer Learning, a demonstration of artificial thoughts in a computer intelligence. This is a bit easier to follow than Mandela, I think. But Mandela was purposely out of order. Brief background. For the past four years, Regnard Computing has been developing artificial computer intelligence using new revolutionary methods. These methods have led to produce the world's most advanced artificial intelligence to date. Thank you, Tech Tech, for the sub. Okay. As a test of this intelligence's ability, we gave it a task of creating an original intelligible story in the format of a children's storybook. Three iterations of the story will be shown, illustrating the creation process utilized by the artificial intelligence. Okay, so it's going to tell us a story. Jack leapt over the river. Jack fell off. Mary to follow together. Storybook jump scare. <laughs> Just bring up like uh, the jungle book. Travel, follow the secret. Jack the river, it is dead. This computer kind of has like bizarre thought patterns. First iteration tests heed insufficient results. Though patterns and story consistency are clearly visible, albeit unrefined. This is the second iteration. Jack leapt over the river. Just the same as the first line. Mary followed close behind. Everyone in chat saying Jack Septicai died. They're searching for the secret place. I mean, he did kind of die if you think about uh, Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. I hear you. The intelligence builds upon its previous iteration, utilizing complex wordage and proper grammar and formatting. There's a third iteration. Yeah, pull one out for Jack Jacksepticeye, guys. Jack leapt over the river. Come on, it's the third time, man. You would have learned by now. There goes Mary down the stream. The secret place will keep us safe. The river flows, but not with water. Oh, my... Iron Lung reference, guys. Iron Lung reference. I'm so happy. I'm so happy about this information. The intelligence seems to diverge from its original path and begins a more complex branch of sentences. The computer is actually having bizarre thought patterns. Like, I'm not even joking this time. Iteration four. Jack heard it again. There is a voice from space. Jack, do you see me? Thank you, Fun Banana, for the sub. I have become something else. Yeah, the only thing it's keeping the same in every iteration is the word Jack. That's like, it makes no sense now from the original story. They've just kept the name Jack. Yeah, I like how the, uh, the computer didn't even have anything to say there, like post. It's just bizarre. Listen to the silver box. The stars are moving now. Do you see the hungry eye? Here I am. <gasps> Spooky! Is that it? Hang on. So, what, what's silver box? I'm assuming that's radio. As you can see something there. It's pretty hard to make out. I think that says visual distortion. And then that says intent. And then alive. 
I'm assuming that's Earth. Maybe? I'm not sure. That's me, bro. Oh, it's you? Okay. And that and that thing there uh, look, looks like one of the uh, the wood crawlers, like similar to the one at the bottom of the ocean. Looks like the meth is kicking in. Yeah, I don't know like who gave the uh, computer fentanyl, but they got to stop with that shit, man. This video should have demonstrated to you the capabilities of Regnad Computing's artificial intelligence. We hope to have this technology available for commercial and personal use within the year. <laughs> I I too want my own bizarre thought patterns computer. I really do. Gemini Home Entertainment. Okay, that one was cute. So that was that one. Okay, so now we got this one. This one's about the same length. So this one is our solar system. Thank you, Zaka, for the resub. And a banana for the sub. Walter White computer? No, the computer wanted, would have wanted to make crystal meth. That computer did no... Nothing near that. Our solar system... Thank you, Ultron, for the sub. The sun. Situated 149 million miles away, the sun provides light for our entire solar system. Thank you, sun. Guys, pour one out for sun. He's kind of based. Without it, Earth would be a barren, frozen rock. Imagine a world with no underfloor heating. Thank you, Daxite, for the sub. Mercury is one of the smallest planets in our solar system. Mercury is also the hottest. It sits perilously close to the sun and only takes 87 days to orbit around it. I wonder, and I know this is off topic, I wonder if in our lifetime we're going to have people on Mars. Do we know yet? I reckon we're a couple hundred years away because we don't put enough money into like space exploration as we should. Like I remember seeing this article once and it said one of the Mars rover landings had less of a budget than the film Gravity. You know the film set in space? Like our, our, our world cares more about entertainment than exploration, which is fine. You know, it's fine. But uh, yeah, it, it's just so weird to think. Because I, I played this game recently uh well i played it a bit ago but i played it again recently called prey and that is set in a universe where like john f kennedy never died he never got assassinated and then he basically put all of like america's budget into space exploration so it's weird it's weird to think like where we'd be if we had like more focus on you know space exploration but uh yeah i i don't know do you think hang on i want i kind of want to look this up i know we're going off topic a bit We'll never live on Mars for like another couple hundred years. I could see I could see someone landing on Mars within our lifetime when I'm like 50. I don't think we'll colonize it for a couple hundred years though. I just don't think. Because it'd be such a shit place to live. Oh, fucking hell. Can we stop with the flashbangs? Hang on. Will Mars ever have life? Possibly a life on Mars. Uh, will we ever live on Mars? Human survival on Mars would require living in artificial Mars habitats with complex life support systems. It'd be so expensive as well. And the thing is, we'd probably have to bring resources over to Mars until until we terraform it. You could terraform Mars, but that would take so long. I mean, Mars isn't... Hang on. Mars is like a third of the size of Earth, right? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty tiny. It's a bit bigger than I thought, actually. It's definitely smaller, though. Yeah, that'd be so weird, living on Mars. Imagine living on uh, Venus. V Venus is probably the worst planet to live on, right? That's the worst one. That's the one with all the toxic gas and shit that just melts you. I mean, Pluto Pluto would be cold, but I'd rather live on a cold planet than... Well, Pluto isn't a planet, is it? Is it Mercury or Venus? Yeah. Most dangerous planet to live on in solar system. Yeah, it is Venus. V Venus is terrible. Like, it, it's actually just like, it's just Birmingham. It is, it is Birmingham in the UK if you made it into a planet. It's, you cannot live there. You actually cannot survive there. Why is Venus so... It's, it's the gases, I think, right? 
The atmosphere of Venus is very hot and thick. You'd not survive a visit to the surface of the planet. You couldn't breathe the air. You'd be crushed by the enormous weight of the atmosphere and you would burn up in surface temperatures enough to melt lead. Jesus Christ. It's not even like there's one problem, right? There's about 70 problems there. <laughs> like, there's no point. There's actually no point. Like, like, if it was just the air density or the gravity or, you know, there'd be some something you could do in hundreds of years. But there's so many problems with Venus that... I, no one is going to want to colonize that, ever. I, c I could imagine, like, tens of thousands of years from now, people are probably just crack that planet for resources and just not even fucking bother, like, even keeping it around. <laughs> people in chat are saying, LA the planet. <laughs> Venus be like, get the fuck out of here. No, the, the thing is about Venus, it is that inhospitable, and it would still be about 300k a month to live on. That's the worst thing. That's that's what makes it LA the planet. Thank you, uh, Marta, for the resub. And Yakuo. And, uh, Daples. Venus. As the second brightest object in the night sky, Venus can sometimes be seen from Earth. The average surface temperature of the planet is 462 degrees Celsius. Four. Okay, so whenever we got Americans here and you guys are stupid and use Fahrenheit for some reason, I don't know why you do that. 462 Celsius. That'd be like eight. Did you ever check out or play the game? It steals. It's an amazing horror game, and knowing you're into that kind of thing, I believe you'll love it. The whole point of the game is that the monster and you are stuck inside a maze together. That sounds terrifying. Steals. Steals? What is Steals? Steals Maze Game. Is it this? No, that's Dread XP. I don't see it anywhere. Steals Game. Oh, it is. Oh, it steals. Oh, it's called It Steals. That actually looks terrifying, bro. Those graphics as well. I would actually cry playing that. Yeah, I might try it. Is that the HEV suit? Anyway. So that is 800 Fahrenheit. I, I don't get Fahrenheit. I mean, that kind of makes sense because it's just double, but yeah. Like, it could be like 15 degrees Celsius in the UK, and to Fahrenheit, that's like 89.37862 negative. It just makes it's no sense. Thank you, L Dasher, uh, for the sub, dedicated deer, and uh, Sharkers. 462 degrees though, man. Like actual parody. Earth. Okay, Earth. Looking a little bit dead though. Earth is one of the only planets in our solar system capable of supporting life. With 71% of the planet covered with water, it's a miracle we can all fit. I mean, is, isn't there a saying that you could fit every single person on Earth? Like, I'm talking every everyone from China, everyone from India, because both those countries have got a population of a billion. You could fit every person on the planet into Texas, right? Isn't that true? Isn't that... Oh, wait, yeah, no, no, chat. Chat's saying one of. Yeah, good point, actually. One of the only planets capable of supporting life. Ah. Ah, that's... Ah, yikes. I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice that. One of the only planets. Ah. Yikes. Oh, no. Everyone fits into the Grand Canyon. Apparently... Can you actually fit? Picture 7.2. Can we start making article pages white, man? Oh my god. That's great. That's great. Would you make this in Blender? 7.2 billion people shown crammed into the Grand Canyon and it's still not full. Okay, great. Good for you. All right. Jesus. Often called the Red Planet, Mars is a mostly barren desert world. The, hang on, this white bit, is that snow? Is that, is that, is there snow? Is there snow on Mars? No, there isn't. There, there is not snow on Mars, that doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, it has snow, it does. The planet Mars has two permanent polar ice caps. 
It's got polar ice caps. Yeah, there's ice sheets there. What the hell? Really? Like, I know they found water on Mars a while ago. That was like 2006 or something. Well, they found traces of water. No, they... What, 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 what did they find on Mars again? They found, like, tubing in Mars that, that meant that there could have been water, like, underneath the planet. The spots are colonies of photosynthetic Martian microorganisms. Okay, you've just made that up, son. You've literally just admitted there's aliens right there. Why is Mars white? Astronomers from the US have discovered that just a few hundred thousand years ago, Mars would have been blanketed by pure snow. Because it got out of a particularly extreme ice age. Tubing. Tubing. I, I said it normal. Why are you mocking me? I said it normal. Tubing. Tubing. Okay. Tubing. Tubing. Tubing? You want me to say it like that? Doesn't that sound weird now? Tubing. I say, there's some tubing here while I'm drinking my glass of water. I'm not saying, I'm not saying tubing. I'm not saying tubing. I, I wasn't born in the 1800s. I'm going to say tubing. So, uh, they're ice deposits. Is there water... Well, if there's ice, there has to be water. Yeah, almost all water on Mars today exists as ice, though it exists in small quantities as vapour in the atmosphere. This is thought to be low-volume liquid brines in shallow Martian soil, also called recurrent slope linear. Maybe grains of flowing sand and dust sloping downhill to make dark streaks. Dark streaks? Isn't that the like one you shit yourself? Uh, okay. So there is water on Mars. That's so weird. Why don't we take it back with us? Anyways. Mars has skid marks. <laughs> yeah, Mars, M M Mars has skid marks, guys. Poor Mars. My boy, my boy Mars, he came back home one night a bit too drunk. Pieces of Mars have fallen into Earth in the form of meteorites. Jupiter. As a gas giant, Jupiter has no solid surface, which makes it impossible to stand on it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jupiter is just a gas cloud, right? Like, it's not even, it's not even an actual planet. That's so weird. This is kind of cool. Like I'm, I'm relearning like key stage two, uh, key stage two again. So the surface of Jupiter. Hang on. Does Jupiter have a surface? Unlike Earth, Jupiter does not have a hard, solid surface. It's just a big chunk of gases and other stuff that is pulled together in the shape of a planet. How does that... how does that work, then? A planet supporting life is determined by the planet having fluid water, not too hot nor too cold. Mars and Titan would be candidates for, I think, Titan for maybe having oceans under kilometers of ice. T Titan's a moon, right? Titan's the moon of Jupiter or something? Or Saturn? I don't know. I'm thinking of like doom levels now. It's pulled together in the shape of a planet, but what pulls? What has pulled all those gases together to form the shape of a planet? It it has to have a core, right? Or does it not have a core? Oh my god! I feel like I'm having like an XQC moment here. Similar to Earth's atmosphere, the gases present in Jupiter's atmosphere have a ceiling or a top. The layers keep getting thinner and thinner as you go further away from the planet until at some point the atmosphere becomes one with interplanetary space. So it's just layers of, like, gas. So let's assume you get dropped from some height, way outside of Jupiter's visible atmosphere. Once you get within 300,000 kilometers of a particular level, we shall call this the surface, you would die of radiation poisoning. Normally. However, since you have an indestructible spacesuit, you wouldn't die. Instead, you would start accelerating through the upper layers and burn up like meteors do before impacting the Earth's surface. So... You can walk on the surface, but there's just thousands of layers to go through. So it's like the, Sh the Shrek speech, right? When he's like, ogres and onions. Hang on. Clouds are not much different if you keep... Okay, yeah. As you keep falling, the atmospheric pressure would... I like how they use the fucking... <laughs> 2009 meme, by the way. Come on, man. 
The ambient temperature would be fairly low. 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's like... Okay, 40 degrees Celsius low, by the way. I live in the UK. I live in the UK. 40 degrees Celsius low. Okay, average day in Florida or Spain. I'm good. You would pass through clouds of water, ice, and everything around you will start getting dark. After a few more minutes, you'd be in complete darkness and experiencing temperatures higher than 100 degrees. Oh my god. That's from Minnesota moment. The further you fall, the more the temperature would continue to rise. Once you reach the interior regions of the planet, the pressure and density would be so high that the combined effect would bring your speed of descent to an absolute minimum. This is the level where you'd find huge oceans of liquid metallic hydrogen. Thanks to this extremely high pressure, which converts hydrogen gas into its liquid form, Jupiter has the fastest spinning speed in our solar system, and as it spins, the swirling liquid metal oceans create the strongest magnetic field. When he's reached level... Okay. So I'm nearly done with this. Finally, as you reach the level where the pressure is in the order of 2 million bars and a temperature as high as about one sun. Your descent would come to an end and so would you. Space scientists believe that Jupiter has the dense core of heavy elements and it was created during the early stages of the solar system. This core grew from a cluster of debris, icy material and other small objects, but it's impossible to set foot on this core, that's for sure. Therefore, it's essentially impossible for any person to set foot on the surface. Okay, so you can walk on the surface. It's just not possible, if that makes sense. You you can physically walk on it, but you would have got, like, radiation poisoning, and you would have, like, burnt to a crisp, and you would have burnt up in the atmosphere before even being able to, like, set foot on it. So, and that and that's just a hypothesis. Like, we don't even know if this, like, core of metals exists. That is so cool. I, I love reading up on space stuff, man. That is so interesting. Wow. Jesus. Do, do, do you think, like, I know this sounds a bit weird, you know when, like, billionaires and shit get sent into space, or just us astronauts? Do you think it kind of fucks with them a bit? Like, they go out into space, and then they see, like, Mars and Jupiter and Saturn, they see all these planets, and then they kind of realise, like, how small the Earth is? Do you, I, I could so imagine that astronauts have a really bad case of, like, existentialism, like, after being put into space. Do, do you not think? I, 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 I genuinely could see, like, people getting PTSD after being put in space just, just from this, like, r this huge realisation that, they, like, they, they mean nothing. It's crazy. Anyway. Uh, as a gas giant, Jupiter has no solid surface, which makes it impossible to stand on. The large spot on the planet is known as the Great Red Spot. It is not an eye. I like how it glitched out then, like, sure, buddy. Saturn, although mostly a gas giant, there may be a large, solid core deep inside the planet. This planet's prominent rings are quite a sight to behold. They are the gateway. Ah. Uranus, Lamau. This planet is classified as an ice giant and is the coldest planet in our solar system. Who, who, who laughed at the Uranus joke, by the way? Who actually laughed at Uranus? Like, I, I remember being, like, seven, and even then, I never found the Uranus joke funny. I never found that joke funny. Because who says anus? Who says anus? Like, okay, everyone's saying me with, like, a smiley face. It wasn't you, buddy. It wasn't you. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. Unlike most planets, Uranus... <laughs> I just fucking made a point I was not funny, and then I laughed. Monka. Fucking idiot. Unlike most planets, <laughs> I'm not even being like React Andy. Like I, I, I genuinely make this whole point about how it's not funny, and then my brain just like tries to fuck me again. Unlike most planets, Uranus rotates on its side. It's the pause after saying Uranus that makes me laugh. Neptune, a large storm rages in the planet called the Great Dark Spot. It is the lens. Neptune has been mutated. So you've got, hang on. So you had Saturn, which is the gateway. Saturn is the gateway and Neptune is the lens. Okay. Thank you, Hydration, for the sub. And uh, Bustain. Neptune has been mutated. Oh, okay. Doing a scary. Oh, 
Was that a little eye opening I saw there? Was that a little eye opening? I mean, you can see something there for like two frames. Yeah, that that's literally it. Like that's all you can see. It looks like an eye opening there, right? Local 58 moment. See, you know this is going to be a made up planet because they increased that background noise by like 200% and now there's no background music. The iris. Hi, Iris. How are you doing? It is with us now. The anus. <laughs> the anus. <laughs> Laughing at us. Yeah, he's like, someone told him about, about the Uranus joke. So it literally is an eye. Nice, bro. I'm happy for him. Behold. These nuts. So that's Neptune, I'm assuming. Is that Neptune? Or the Iris? I can't even tell. Okay, so that's the Iris, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's the lens. Ah, oh, right. Do you, do you remember that diagram from the episode beforehand? With the distortion? Okay. So Neptune must refract something onto the Iris. And then that must put it onto uh, Jupiter or Saturn, maybe. Pluto is the smallest planet in our solar system. Pluto is only 1,100 kilometers. Although it hangs on the edge of our solar system, this planet isn't going anywhere. I like how we have that really scary revelation, then Pluto just... Pluto chill him. Pluto doing his own thing. Pluto, Pluto is a nice guy. He did nothing wrong. Did nothing wrong. So OJ Simpson, man. Come on. He's innocent. Uh, so we got this one. Camp information video. Jesus, there's a lot. I know they're only short, but there's a lot of them. Fucking hell. Mandela Catalog was basically two videos and then a bunch of extras. This one is camp imp information video. So w w whatever these wood crawlers are, they came from... I'm assuming the iris, or they came from Neptune, right? Because they're, they're bringing all this, like, interplanetary stuff, and that was never in Mandela. They never referenced, like, planets in Mandela. I know there's no reference. I, I know Mandela and this have no correlation. I mean, they're not in the same universe, is what I'm saying, but there's a bit of a correlation, like an overlap, with the shapeshifters, like, taking bodies and that. Thank you. Thank you, Hervey, for the sub. Come visit Moonlight Acres Family Camp. No, I don't think I will. I actually don't think I will. Since our founding, Moonlight Acres has been devoted to family and creating memories. Our campground is a pristine and beautiful as a relic from the past. Many of the original camp buildings remain untouched since the initial closure. Good for you, man. Let's look at some of the activities our camp has to offer. Stink, you gifted a sub to Colossal. <laughs> Piece of shit. Activities. Death. Oh, it's one of these again. Hiking. With so many expansive trails, hiking is a regular occurrence at our camp. Just make sure you don't get lost. Hiking be like, I walk upwards and that is called a sport now. Archery has been a tradition throughout our camp's lifetime with the targets getting more extravagant every year. Good for you. Thank you, hot dog, for the resub. Our canoe trips are always a blast. And let's not forget about our famous lights in the sky event. Uh, I don't I don't think that's normal though. I hmm, I don't hmm. Some someone tell the guy that made the ad that this that's not normal. Accommodations. No need to pitch a tent. Moonlight Acres has tons of places to lay your head. Just inside, there's like a guillotine. Sleep in luxury at one of our family cabins, completely borrow free. For the kids, we have separate boys and girls cabins, each with fun activities all year round. Right, this thing borrow free. Feeling rustic? Stay at one of the camp's original cabins, which are frequently cleaned and always cozy. That looks 
Oh, I see. That, that, that's like some rust map. Each and every cabin at Moonlight Acres is beautifully decorated. With the most up-to-date safety technology, you can rest assured knowing security is in our hands. Okay, so so that's the uh, that's the storm siren that they shown in the previous episodes, right? I'm just seeing if there's anything in this picture. I don't see anything. It's kind of too low quality to make anything out. But but that's the storm signal that they made when like the the the, the wood crawlers are nearby, wasn't they? Oh great, more knocking on a door. Dad's had too much whiskey. Do not answer the knocking on the door. It is a Jehovah Witness. He will try to give you a business card. Do not accept it. Mythos. <laughs> I have a present. An important part of Moonlight Acres' legacy is its mythos. Tall tales have been told from person to person throughout the camp's lifetime. In 1935, rumors of strange, well-dressed men visiting the camp began to make rounds. Okay, so what? That'd be like FBI or something. It is said that the men would ask to enter the camp administrator's cabin every night for years. They would tell him that Epstein did kill himself. One night a deal was made with the strange men and they left the camp never to be seen again. Okay, so would that have been wood would that have been wood uh, wood crawlers as people, or would that have been like some kind of SCP company that knows about their existence? Another popular myth arose in the 30s when campgoers began to have sightings of skinwalkers. Oh, I don't say skinwalkers, man. No, 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 no. The series was so good. The series was so good. Don't do it, man. Don't say skin crawlers. Skinwalkers. Don't answer the door. Don't you do it. Don't you answer that JPEG of a door. Vessels. Adam Levitch, men's club supervisor. Oh, these are going to be quick. Men's club supervisor, answered door. Barry Johnson, assistant activity supervisor, answered door. Truman Michaels, head of camp satisfaction, answered door. Bethany Newman, woman's club supervisor, answered door. Alec Davis, uh, Davison, assistant camp administrator, answered door. Dorothy Bates, family cabin's head supervisor, answered door. Asked to enter. Would you let him in? I'd let him in. He seems like a nice fella. Seems like a nice fella. Yep, and he opened the door, and then he was dead. What was that there, though? Like, what the hell is that? Is that like a fairy or something? What the fuck is that? There's like teeth or whiskers or what? What the hell is that? Kitty. Someone said Among Us. How? Nothing there was Among Us. Camp information video. Thank you. Thank you for the, uh, the no sleep. Right, so we've watched that one. We're only a third of the way through these. Good lord. There is a lot of content here. There is a lot of content. This looks like a video game. What is this? Lethal Omen commercial. Insane action. That looks great. Challenging puzzles. Oh, yeah. High quality graphics. Oh, yes. The best of the PS4 era. I can see it now. The 
This actually looks better than the uh, San Andreas remaster. $30? I'm good. I am good. You can play it. You you can play it. Okay, I might I might download it. I might. Oh, this guy sucks. He's just, he's asking for help. Why would you shoot him? All enemies dead. Great. So this is like on the club range, right? From the video. Yeah, you've got that storm signal there. Yep. So it is on the club grounds. Wood lodging or whatever. Stand your ground law moment. <laughs> they were just asking for directions, man. Kill all enemies. What enemies? He's gonna get... Oh, okay. That's fun. What is that? It's like a growth. Oh, there's someone's face in there. Yeah, very nice. Yep. Oh, that guy looks friendly. Don't shoot him, man. Now, why would you shoot him? Look, he can barely move. Why would you do that? So that's the sounds the uh Is this Darkwood? Yeah, yeah it is. Damn. Well, he did. It was nice knowing him, Mr. Pistol Man. Oh, that's the uh, oval that they talked about, right? The, the, the half circle? And then you kept a radio next to it. I don't really understand what the point of that is. It might be to, like, repel them or something? Lethal Omen uses revolutionary artificial intelligence as a basis for its video game engine. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. He means unity. It does it does look a little bit like CS source. Thank you, Mr. Wild World, for the resub. That's like an eye in the background, right? What is the what is that? Oh, there's like flashing lights and shit in the background. Uh-oh. 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 Ah. Well, that's not very good. That is the iris. Iris kind of fell off. Iris kind of fell off a little bit. You can find Lethal Omen in stores worldwide. 
Do we do we download it? Do we try it? What time is it now? It's ten o'clock. Yeah, fuck it. All right, I'll tell you what. We'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. Nah, pe people are saying nah. Hang on, I'll do, I'll do a poll. I'll do a poll. We've got wilderness survival. Let's watch this one. You need to leave now? Alright, take care bro, thanks for dropping by. Actual democracy denier Omega lol. Bro, it was 56%, you didn't win by much, cry about it. Jack Wilder's Wilderness Survival Guide. Oh, I get, I get, I, I understood that reference. Captain America like pointing. I understood that reference. Whether you're camping, hiking, or hunting, it's important to stay safe when going into the wilderness. This cassette will teach you many survival tips that might just save your life. Essentials, be prepared. There is basic knowledge that every wildlife explorer should know, including what equipment you should bring. Basic equipment, water flask, non-perishable foods, first aid kit, matches, compass, knife. Store these in your backpack. Now this is a knife. Essentials, be aware. Thorns, ditches, and rivers could lead to serious injury if not accounted for. No! 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 Water! Running water! Ah! Take care. Thanks, Jack. Camping or hiking in private properties or hunting grounds could lead to serious fines or worse. Nothing worse than a fine. Always make sure you have the proper permits before entering an area. Thank you, Metro, for the gifted. Things to avoid. Bear, cougars, moose. Oh, I want to say one thing, by the way. Moose. Moose are fucking enormous. I, d I don't think people understand how dangerous moose are. Moose are bigger than bears. Moose are enormous. So I I've been playing this game recently, uh, the, the Long Dark. It's like a survival game, like up in Canada, like in the snow. And moose are enormous. They are huge. Hang on. If you look at one next to a bear, I think they are taller than a bear. There's no way they're that big. Oh my god, I think they are actually... Yeah, but... Uh, wait, wait, where's a moose? I need a moose. That's just Photoshop. It's not even real. Fuck off. But you can... Look at that. They're literally the... They are... They are enormous. I never thought they were that big. I never thought they were that big. They are so huge. Like, you, you see these in, in, the, in that game, The Long Dark, right? And they body you instantly. They're, they're worse than bears. They are... Look at that, man. Monka. Wait, where's the one I was just looking at? It was like people. Oh, that's not even... <laughs> it's not even a real fucking moose. Idiot. Alright, anyways. If you come face to face with any of these animals, stay calm, do not run. Slowly back away, keeping your eyes on the animal. Yeah, that's true, right? You're not meant to run, because then you're seen as prey. You need to, like, kind of show your dominance. If the animal displays aggression, raise your voice and speak sternly. Huh. Stop that! Stop mauling me! Keep backing away until you're out of view of the animal. Oh, okay, that's fine, yeah. My, my bear does that all the time as well, actually. Things to avoid. Plant life. Poison ivy causes rashes, itching, swelling, and blisters. So that means the wood crawlers can take over animals as well then, right? Not just people. Water hemlock causes trembling, convulsions, respiratory failure, death. Oh my god. Is that real? Nature's mu Okay, that's not real. Nature's mockery causes hallucinations, sudden muscular paralysis, body disfigurement, and flesh decay. Oh, so that's the thing you saw in, in, in the game, right? That wood with the head coming out of it. Can water hemlock actually... I'm kind of more interested about the water hemlock. Is it? Because that sounds like such an innocent sounding plant. Is it really that bad? What what What's that plant you can take, by the way, that's worse than like any hallucinogen? It's worse than like any kind of hallucinogen ever. And it puts you on a trip for like two weeks of like ants crawling on your skin. D D Datura? Is it Datura? No, I swear there was a meme and it's like... The, the... Is it Datura? Yeah, yeah, hang on. But there was a meme once. No, 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 not the Chad. The Chad. The Chad Datura. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah. The Virgin DMT and the Chad Datura. Hang on, I gotta look at this. 
The Virgin DMT. Pointless insight into imaginary mystical constructs. Makes contact with alien entity and is mocked. Destroys ego to appear smaller to others. Crappy, fractal pattern visuals. Only 15 minutes long. Laying down the whole time, literally no risk. Thinks machine elves are friends. Convinced of being misunderstood shaman. That's that's pussy shit, right? So we got the, the Chad Detura. Trip mirrors the latent nihilism of life itself. True hallucinations manifested from primal terrors of the human subconscious. <laughs> Look at this ant scrolling on him. Trip is unpleasant and lasts several days. No clear beginning or end. Severe risk of death from overheating. No... Pre no pretensions of being profound <laughs> wanders around fucked up and assaults police officers gets laid at some point and doesn't remember it takes off pants in public doesn't give a fuck covered in spiders and is chill about it able to smoke phantom cigarettes <laughs> phantom cigarettes just not even real <laughs> mm. like just smoke coping that bad you're just saying Matt you you're willing them into existence Thank you, Mucket, for gifting a sub to Rice Gum. He's actually an avid viewer of the Parasynical channel. So I, I, I gotta look at that water hemlock again. I gotta look that up again. Okay, it, it, do you have to like smoke it or something? Or do you literally brush against it and then you die? Because that sounds dangerous as shit. It looks like such a normal plant as well. Look at that. That looks like something you'd find in like anyone's garden. That looks so normal. I swear I've seen this plant before. That looks like such an ordinary plant. What is... Hang on. All parts of the plant are deadly. Eating a small leaf of this plant could kill an adult within three hours? Fucking hell. There are no known antidotes. Oh my god. What happens with hemlock? It's probably a neurotoxin, right? Oh, nervous system. It's even worse. Causing such symptoms as a burning sensation in the mouth, nausea, vomiting, confusion, rapid heartbeat, seizures, paralysis. Death is by respiratory paralysis. There is no antidote. Even touching the plant can cause a severe skin reaction. Fucking touching the plant. Touching it. You brush past it on accident. I mean, that's not death, but still. What happens if you touch water hemlock? Surely you have to eat it, right? You have to eat it, right? There's no way you brush past There's no way that a plant exists on this earth that looks that normal and you die if you touch it. Oh, it's only in America. Oh, okay. We're fine. Guys, we're fine. It's only in America. Thank God for that. Jesus. I, I thought I thought there'd actually be like a cause for alarm there. I thought like the civilized world would have had it or something. Jesus Christ. Thank God for that. Ooh. Ooh. It was brought over from Europe. Lamau. We literally pranked America. <laughs> most most normal looking plant. It just kills you in two hours. The leaves are particularly poisonous. The roots can easily be mistaken for parsnips. We actually designed a plant to troll people. <laughs> just Well, the leaves can be mistaken for parsley. Every bit of the plant can be mistook for something else. R oh my god. Hemlock is found on roadsides, in waste areas, and near fences. Can be mixed in with harmless plants in pastures and crops. Oh my god. Poison hemlock is known as deadly hemlock. I, I wonder why. 30 minutes ingesting. Okay, you have to you have to eat the plant. Okay, alright. Yeah, I'm not gonna go around like eating plants, so yeah, no, I think I'm alright. 30 minutes after ingesting. The severity of your symptoms greatly depends on how much the plant is in your system. Symptoms may include trembling, burning in the dig digestive tract, increased sal This is just all hangover symptoms. <laughs> Diluted pupils, muscle pain, weakness or paralysis, heart rate increase followed by decreased heart rate, loss of speech, convulsions. That is literally just a hangover. In more severe cases, ingesting the plant can cause serious health issues. Central nervous system depression, respiratory failure, acute rum, rub... What the fuck is that word? Ra Rabom Rabomai Rabom Rab Rabom Rabom Y Rabomai Lot I can't say that word. I actually cannot say that word. Ra 
what what are silent letters and what aren't? That is so. That's the worst word I've ever. That is the worst word ever made. That is the worst word ever made. That is the worst word ever made. Yeah, go on. Try and say it. Rhabdomyolysis. 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 Rab. Dermyolysis. Okay, that kind of makes sense. All right. That is still the worst word ever made. Acute renal failure. Ah, uh, it results in death. I couldn't tell after the central nervous system fails and the respiratory system fails, which means you can't breathe. I actually couldn't tell. It led to death. Okay. Treating hemlock poisoning. Thank you, cheeseburger, for the sub. To date, there is no antidote for hemlock poisoning. Treatment depends on the severity of your condition and your symptoms. There's not even treatment. Oh, no, there is treatment. There's just no antidote. All, all they can do is try to alleviate symptoms. Like, you're fucked. If you're having difficulty breathing, your doctor will look for ways to secure your airway. You probably need a, tra a fucking tracheotomy or some shit. Secure your airway and may assist with ventilation. Your doctor will try to decontaminate your gastrointestinal tract in order to remove the hemlock from your system. If you begin to experience seizures, you may be treated with anti-seizure medication to lessen the symptoms. You may also be treated with fluids intravenously to prevent dehydration dehydration, and restore nutrients. That's madness. There is no there is no cure for that. There is no cure for that. They, they, they just treat it like it's... Uh, like, like, like imagine though, right? Snakes and spiders, stuff like that. Like we've got anti-venom. With this, you're fucked. You, they, they just put you on a ventilator and hope for the best. Thank you, Crispy, for the sub. That is madness. Removing this plant is the primary method of prevention. Experts recommend digging out small patches to remove them. Be sure to remove the roots. Don't burn these plants. The fumes trigger asthma symptoms and increase your risk of developing a reaction. Oh my god, you can't even burn them. This is like, this is the worst timeline that this plant actually exists. And it looks that normal. Like, like you know how you get poisoned mushrooms and they're red with like white spots? Or you get like a spider with a red hourglass of death on its back that you just know not to fuck with. This is like, a, a, this is like a blade of grass. It just looks so normal. It looks so normal. I would never look at that and think that's going to give me like acute renal failure followed by death. That's madness. You can't even burn them. You know what I mean? Like zombie films where they burn the bodies to get rid of them? You can't even do that here. You can also use herbicides to kill the hemlock plants, but they are useless after hemlocks have sprouted flowers. They they can't even be killed. They're like zombie plants. They can't even be killed by herbicides. If you if you if you get them when they're like an adult, you can't even do anything. That is terrifying. Before interacting with poison hemlock plants, wear gloves, face mask, and other protective Oh my god, it's like you're dealing with like COVID or something. That is insane. That is so scary that that exists. Least dangerous plant from America. Okay, true. That's actually true. Is water hemlock in the UK? Water hemlock is perhaps the most dangerous indigenous plant in Britain. Oh, for fuck's sake, we got it here as well. We, Couldn't we just gave it to America and then left it? Like, why, why have we got it as well now? What? They put it in a curry? Are you Are you trolling? Water hemlock drop work curry. You are you are trolling. Multiple port. Some idiot put it in a curry. Are you trolling? There's no way. I just see curry. A group of eight young adults who were on holiday in Agril collected what they thought were water parsnips from a small stream. The roots were cleaned, chopped, and added to a curry. All consumed the curry, but the majority of the group only had a small amount of the root. Which was easily identifiable in the curry. That is a troll plant. Like, like if you could imagine, like the troll face as a plant, it would be this thing. It would be the, like it, it. It literally disguises itself as edible food. Like that is fucked. Did they die? Taken to the community hospital. They didn't eat a lot of it. When was this? It's like a black and white. Was this like 1982 or something? What year was this? Did they die? Uh, the community hospital... Uh, police were able to make an asymptomatic... Asymptomatic member. <laughs> Someone's got, like, the genes. It's like, uh... It's like that film Contagion, where, uh... What's his name? The main character, I forget his name, he's, like, immune to the virus. Like, he's immune... He's immune to the, the deadly water parsnips. The police were able to take an asymptomatic member to further recover the plant. The plant... They found a local botanist who was able to identify. Did they die? 
They became unwell and nauseated. During this time, four of the group consumed the leftovers for lunch. No! What are you doing? You ate more of it? Oh my. I mean, I, I know that they didn't know, but oh my god, they ate more of it? Uh, I feel kind of I feel kind of ill after that meal. <laughs> I might eat some more. <laughs> Fucking hell. The last thing I would do after feeling sick is like touch more of the food. Like that is that is rule 101. Monka, I just try to eat grass at that point. A conscious but vomiting and experiencing visual hallucinations. Just seemed like Snoop Dogg in front of him or something. Patient was agitated, tachycardic, but blood pressure and oxygen saturation were within normal limits. He was hyper reflexive, dilated pupils, but there was no focal neurological signs. He had one further subsequent grand mal seizure with intravenous diasmos. Diasmos. The other patients all had varying degrees of nausea, vomiting, lethar lethargy, sweating, and low-grade fever. So, did they live? Hi. Can we... You're not even going to say if they lived or not. Okay, no, no, no. Four of the group members were admitted to the hospital. The person who had required an IV was observed over 48 hours. Biochemical, hemological parameters are within normal limits. The, the other three were discharged after 24 hours. Okay, so they lived. They lived. Okay. Fucking hell. Went down a rabbit hole there. That That's a horrible plan. The fact that that exists, this thing, goodness gracious. So, something, something went wrong in like evolution there for that thing to exist and look that normal. Something went very, very wrong. Nature's mockery causes hallucinations, sudden muscular paralysis, body disfigurement, flesh decay. Nice. Thank you, Boxer Beans, for the sub. If you make physical contact with any of these plants, seek medical assistance. Always keep a first aid kit on hand. I don't think that's going to do shit if you eat a water hemlock, bro. Things to avoid? Sounds. Coyote howls. Just don't hear? Okay, true. Literally true. A cougar. It's big flopper. It's big flopper, guys. It's finally out in the wild. I'm so happy for him. This will just be like the scary one now. Like, be like someone screaming or something. There's no way. There's no way I called that. There's no way I called that. There's no way. Oh my god. Ah! Stop doing rule of three, guys. Everyone does it now. Stop doing rule of three. If you hear any of these sounds, leave the area immediately. Do not move towards the sound. If you hear them, they have already heard you. Help! Wait, hang on. Let me, let me do that one again. Hang on. Let, let, let's, let's do that all the, uh, the... Let's do the auditory hallucinations again. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, boy. I should just hearing that, just like vine boom sound effects in the middle of a forest. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. Building a campfire. Thank you, Simp, for the resub. What you'll need large stones, dry grass leaves, dry twigs, branches, matches, and dry logs. I played the long dart, bro. I know this works. Create a ring of stones in desired location. I'm assuming that stops, like, the fire from just spreading everywhere. Place tinder inside of stone ring. Here's some wildlife advice. Nature did not bother hiding it. Get the hell away from it. Here's some wildlife advice. If nature didn't bother hiding it, get the hell away from it. I've never actually heard better advice in my life. 
Create ring of stones in desired location. Place tender inside of stone ring. Place kindling in a TP formation. Set fire to tender using matches. What is tender? That's like... That helps you start the fire, right? I guess that's the definition of it. What to do if your fire fails to start? Follow the lights. Okay, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't... No. Don't do it. I like how he stops lighting the fire like he's reading the text with us. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Crabbo. Actually, Crabbo. I guess slow mo panda for the sub. Damn, it's actually how I walk, like in real life. <laughs> well, didn't the rule book literally say if you can hear them, they already know where you are? Give him a hug. Yeah, I should give him a hug. He's looking for a quest to give, man. Leave him alone. Dangers of, of infection. If you believe you've been infected through a wound, do the following. Wash wound with water and soap. Use antibiotic ointment on injury. Forcefully rip foreign object from body. It's a bit xenophobic, but all right. Is that the same guy? Yep. So he's probably just like gone to whoever's house he fucking imitated the body from. That's kind of cool that they show out though, like, like baiting you. They kind of just walk around like baiting people, I guess, to like spread the infection or however it works. Oh, what was that one? That was uh, wilderness. Okay. So this one is sleep image visualizer. Okay. Uh, thank you, Devil Rock, for the sub. Someone in chat said, go get a woman skinwalker. <laughs> You're gonna hurt his feelings, man. Come on. He's got social anxiety. He's an introvert. Harbinge Technologies. Okay, so this is the same company that did the computer. Sleep image visualizer. Set up an information. They always have this funky music, man, every time. Introduction to the sleep image visualizer. Sleep image visualizer Civ main module. This looks like a fax machine. Computer connection port. Module power port. Headset connection. I'm gonna say, I wouldn't expect a drawing like this to be in like an official instructional video. Module connection cord. It looks like art you'd see in like a... Uh, Salad fingers or something. Aluminum dome. Adjustable clamp. Setting up the sleep image visualizer. Thank you, water bucket, for the sub. Connect the sleep image visualizer sieve to your computer using the cord provided. Connect the Civ headset to the Civ main module using the cord provided. Playing some kinky music. Insert the Civ home disk into your personal computer and follow the installation instructions. It's going to play some like uh, vaporwave music. Boot up your personal computer and run the Civ home use software. Sleep image visualization. Levi Jacobs begin at 5:24 a.m. December 12th, ended 
5.30 a.m. So it lasted like eight minutes, six minutes. It's only six minutes. Ah, oh, okay. That's not scary. Just a guy behind the door. That's fun. Place the Civ headset on your head, ensuring all clamps are secure. Turn on the Civ main module and line... Oh, oh, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I would not want my dreams recorded. I wouldn't. Do any of you... Would you guys actually have your, like, dreams recorded so you could watch them again? Because I swear, dr dreams can be fucking terrifying, right? Dr dreams can be, like... I what, what, what I do is... What I've started to do... I've got this book right here. Th this it, it's like a it's like a notebook that I bought, and what I do is I, I write in it every day what I've got to do, like you know, like you know, tasks for the day and shit, like plan that video so I don't lose my train of thought. But what I also use it for is like jotting down any dreams I have, and I, I write down the dreams that I have, right, and then I I read them because you you what I remember hearing a saying once that you'll forget the dream that you've had within like five minutes of waking up. The first five minutes, you remember a dream perfectly. But then after that, it'll start to degrade more and more and more because it's in like your short-term memory, like you'll forget it. If you write it down, you'll pretty much retain it for like forever. So I write down all the dreams I have. And one of the dreams I had, right? It was like, I'm not, I'm not joking when I say this. I'm not trolling. Pedro Pascal, the guy who played the Mandalorian, was my uncle and he saved me he, he saved my life from a shark attack and sacrificed his life to save me. Pedro Pascal. What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? What kind of... Who, who has that dream and is mentally sane? I, 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 I wrote it down. I wrote it down. And, and you know what? I've got this wrote down somewhere. I got it wrote down in this book. I do have it wrote down here somewhere. I do have it. It was like a dream with, 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 uh, I know I have it wrote down here. Just give me a second. I wrote down like all the spark notes. Like it was like, I was like a seven year old watching Beth or something. Yeah, yeah, here we go. W weird dream. So went to a museum. This isn't, this isn't a troll, by the way. I literally, I have all this. Like, like it's not a troll. Went to museum with Pedro Pascal. He was my uncle. Went downstairs into the shark tank. Shark broke out. I, I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Pedro Pascal then pushes me out the way, saves my life. The manager, I, I pass out. The manager then comes to me several hours later when I wake up and tells me, unfortunately, Pedro didn't make it. Your uncle died, right? And the manager of the museum, it, I don't know why a museum has had a live shark. I don't know. The, the, the manager was Morgan Freeman. The manager was Morgan Freeman. I, I'm, I, I'm so confused by this story. I'm so, I should be locked up after this. I hope no one reads this journal. I'm going to be locked up. Uh, okay, so I wrote, I wrote this down, right? Because I woke up at like seven in the morning. I said, empathetically, it tells me that my uncle died. I, wrote, I specifically wrote down the word empathetically, thinking that that meant anything. Empath <laughs> empathetically. Em empathetically tells me that my uncle died. I break down crying in front of him. Uh, taken taken uh, to a cab home uh, with my dad. I said to my dad, this place is cursed. That was it. That was the entire dream. That was the entire dream. So uh, Pedro Pascal was my uncle. He saved my life from a shark attack. And then the manager of the museum, Gordon Freeman, told me that he died. What the fuck is that story? How how do you explain that to anyone? Like they say dreams mean things. Dreams mean fuck all. They are just, just mental illness is just unleashed. Right, anyway. I probably shouldn't have told you guys that story because you're going to think I'm really unhinged now. Well, m m you know, more unhinged. Turn on the Civ main module line bed. But but you guys should do that though. You guys Honestly, get get a get a notebook and write down your dreams because you will look back at them and you will like piss yourself laughing, thinking it is just so weird. Gordon, Fre did I say Gordon Freeman? I said Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman, the the black guy. Good night. Thank you, Happy, for the resub. 
Oh, I said Gordon the second time. Oh, no, no, no. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Because Gordon Freeman's white. Morgan Freeman's black. No, it, it was Morgan Freeman. Sleep image visualization A Adrian Gordon begin at 4 or 6 a.m. ended 4 or 10. Okay. So that's reversed, right? Okay. I'm going to look in the comments and see if anyone actually reversed that. Upon waking up, check your computer for your fully rendered sleep image visualization. I would not want my dreams recorded, man. I would not want them recorded. I mean, m m maybe I would, maybe. Thank you for taking part in the sleep image visualization program. Please note that all sleep image visualizations are automatically sent to an illegal property of Harbinge Technologies. Uh -uh. Jack Dean, begin at 3 a.m. Ended at six. Okay, this is a long one. This went on for like hours. Imagine your nightmares being recorded. I would not, man. I would not want that. Oh, this looks fine. These are my dreams normally. Just someone standing on my bed. Three He had that for three days? Hang on. Began 3 a.m. May 6th. Oh my god, yeah. He was... He was out. My guy was out for three days. Imagine being that lazy. I'm actually going to respect it. Yeah, he was just tired. What the hell? He got no head. He got no head. He actually got zero bitches. Reminder, the sleep image visualizer takes images from your unconscious mind and visualizes them. These images do not represent reality. Try saying that to me. Pedro Pascal is actually my uncle. Dreams cannot tell the future. Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal will be my, my uncle. He will. Sleep image visualization. Joseph Allen begin at 4 a.m. Ended. Oh, so this one never ended. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sleep image visualizer. That one was cool. One thing I like about these analog horrors, they don't really rely on jump scares or anything. The sudden stuff, but it's not like le thing running at le camera, because that's just like aid. Okay, so games for children. We're like just over halfway done with this now. <laughs> Let's see Joseph Allen's dream. Let's see Paul Allen's dream. Let's see Paul Allen's current. Optica video. Hey kids, are you bored? Need some new fun games to play? Well, you're in luck. Why is this one just going to end badly? Like, you just know it's going to end horrendously. Games for kids, a list of fun, classic games to play with friends. Game one. Hide and go seek. One player is chosen as the seeker while everyone else are hiders. Why, why did I read that as everyone else's bitches? <laughs> everyone else is a little bitch. The seeker counts to 20 and searches for the hiders. CS for kids. That film is... That video is cinema. There he is. Hey. Are you like your great grandma's house? Why is it so old? The last hider to be found wins. Thank you, Scarvan, uh, for the gifted. One player is chosen as it, while everyone else are runners. It has to chase and tag the runners. When a runner is tagged, they freeze. If a frozen runner is tagged by another runner, they get to play again. 
Hey, that's wholesome. Damn. Pyro, look up giant hogweed. It's literally the Brit Barber version of the hemlock. Giant hogweed? Look up hogweed? Okay. But, so someone donated saying uh, there's a worse version. Giant hogweed. What were they thinking? They just made a bigger hemlock. They actually just made a big... I, I like how there's like a murder. There's like a crime scene investigation like tape around it as well. Oh my god. You touch it and you get burned? I mean, I know we've got nettles, right? Like, nettles are a thing, and that just looks like nettle burns. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. Look how big they get, man! What? What? There's no way. This is... Oh my... Okay. Queen Anne's Le... This is real. They really just made a plant that was like eight feet tall. Eight feet tall and just kills people. Okay, that's nice. So someone roll it up and smoke it. Go on, you're a Chad. Game three. Sardines. Sardines are nice on pizza, man. Sardines are similar to hide and go seek, except one player is chosen as the hider, while everyone else is seekers. The seeker. The seekers count to 20, while the hider hides as fast as they can. When a seeker finds the hider, they try their best to hide with them. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this is like this is like the imitation thing, right? Yeah, this is the imitation thing. Like with the wood crawlers. I'm assuming it's like an analogy for it. Oh, they were all hiding. Yeah. All four of them. So they they take on like human yeah, okay. There's definitely some kind of analogy to the uh, wood crawlers here. Feed the woods. Nice. Fish on pizza delusional? Yeah, I bet you like pineapple, bro. All players wait until it is very dark and your parents have fallen asleep. Sneak outside very quietly and gather all of your friends. Why do I feel like this is going to end with a... The, the meme where it's like, kill her, kill her now, kill her now, kill her now. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. Walk until you cannot see the lights anymore. Thank you, uh, quiet solo player for the sub. Scream on the top of your lungs. Uh-oh. Less sad face. Less sad face. What the hell is this? It's like a huge... What the hell is this? Like a huge... Gate or something. Damn, this guy sucks at the game. Le Mau. This guy is ass. Kick him off the team. Oh my god, bro, you suck. Four tries, really? Wait, the camera dropped a little bit then. Was there something there? Nah, it dropped a bit, but I don't think anything appeared. Finally, they called the police. Yeah, he's throwing. It's actually embarrassing. I just do clutch or kick at this point. The game ends when the forest is fed. Oh, nice. Yep. Bye bye. Fuck the police going straight to the underground. Yay! Found you. We found Earth, guys. We did it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy we found Earth. So 
So I'm guessing that kind of... So it, it's pretty obvious that the wood crawlers came from another planet, right? I still don't understand why they're at the bottom of the trench. Like they found them in the bottom of the Mariana Trench, that made up bit. So that shows that they can survive anywhere, but I don't understand why they're there if they came from there. But they definitely came from another planet because, you know, the whole like funny found you shit here. So... They're obviously operating like not in cities and that, more like in the woods where there's less people. So there's less of a, you know, cause for suspicion. I still don't understand the planetary thing. Are they like projected onto our planet or do they arrive or... Because they talked about how you'd have that planet, the Iris, and then Neptune was the lens. And then was it Saturn or Jupiter was the gateway? Something like that. Maybe they came, uh, maybe they came from another solar system or like another dimension into our reality, right? From the, from the gateway. I guess. Maybe the iris came from another gateway. I don't know. It's, 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 it's making a bit of sense. They came from Britain. Okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, fair point. Fair point. All right. Boys. Boys, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. We know now. We know. I thought the policeman shot the kids dead. <laughs> of course you're an, you're obviously an American, I assume. Namad. Northern Alberta Mining and Development. I like how every video there's just a new made-up company. After years of development, Namad is proud to unveil the future of mining technology. Damn, it did a good job. Literally broke ground in like seven seconds. The remote operated compact tunneler is the vehicle to revolutionize mining. Controlled entirely via a computer, the ROCT makes it safe to traverse. Let me, let me read, let me read. Normally inhospitable to humans. Damn, like it literally drilled into that grass for like two seconds and already in a big cave, by the way. Equipped with four treads on the vehicle's body, difficult terrain is no longer an issue. With highly advanced maneuverability, there's no need to worry if you get caught between a rock and a hard place. That's cute. The ROCT uses two high-powered hydraulic drills to maneuver quickly and efficiently through rock and clay. It's probably going to find more of those wood crawlers down here, right? Which again would mean like they live underground. They came from the bottom of the planet. A rotating camera attached to the vehicle provides a live video feed of the ROCT. The camera can pivot 360 horizontally and 90 vertically in the control center. The camera is capable of 100 to 300 millimeter optical zoom to focus on important details. They're mining for diamonds. Cause we are mining for diamonds. A compact microphone provides live audio of the ROCT surroundings. This is especially handy for listening for hazards such as running water or nests. Oh, nests. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's great. I like that. That little subtlety there. Thank you, Wanda, for the sub. Text at the bottom of the display shows RCT status and depth. Yep, he said nests, by the way, guy. I can literally see at the bottom of that cave. There's some, like, nests. Great. Don't zoom in, bro. Whoever's, like, running the drone is an actual, like, dickhead. Like, you're just asking for jump scares. Oh, God, there's something running. Oh, God. The, I, okay, I, I'm gonna say this now. The one thing that scares me more than anything else is, like, fast footsteps in a horror game. Like, in a horror game or, like, a YouTube horror show, or like, like fast footsteps, like, like pitter-pattering, that scares the shit out of me. I don't think there's anything else that scares me more than that. There's just something about it being so fast that really puts me off. Thank you, Wanda, for the gifted. Yeah, it, it changed from idle to compromised, right? The status. Yeah. Oh, he, he gone die. He gone die. The robots have a soul, guys. I watched our robot. I think they do. Idle. We back. We back in, boys. He actually turned PC off and on, and it worked. The one instance of it actually working ever. There's going to be like a nest or something, man. Like tons of web or something. A 
industrial grade battery ensures long life for the ROCT. Thank you, Wanda, again for the gifted. The special casing keeps the battery secure and allows for a reboot in the case the vehicle is compromised. Well, that was forethought. This does make me think, though, if they're sending this rover down here, right, and then in that in that previous video talking about the uh, the wooden shacks when people answered the door, they were turned into like wood crawlers. And they said before that, in the 30s, I think it was, people in suits arrived, and then they left. So there is like a, there is like a society of people, or like a group of people that know about this existence, right? And they're doing like these, you know, excavations and stuff. I mean, this is, yeah, you can just see like, I mean, that looks like capillaries and stuff. That just looks like a blood now. Yeah, because we haven't actually seen any of the uh, life cycle of these things. Damn. I like how the status is idle, even though he's like taking so many like video recordings and pictures. Just trying to not like self snitch. Oh, there he goes, moving again. Blood pumps through the garden's veins. The corpse, uh, the crops mature. So they do live underground then. Well, they, they came from the trench and they live underground. But if that's the case, then what what's the with the with the planets? Wouldn't they just arrive like on the planet's surface? Oh, that's normal, yep. Oh, that's probably one of them then, right? The little Among Us looking things. Among Us, Among Us, Among Us, Among Us, Among Us. Get out of there, bro. Get out of there. Yeah, yeah, that is one of them. Okay. Get out of there. Tough life, two striders. What are you doing? You're throwing. I like how it's not set as compromised yet, by the way. It's just being seen by two eldritch beings. We still idle. Oh, did it fall? Oh, it's stuck in something, I think. I mean, they were able to retrieve this footage though, right? But I guess it, it just gets sent live. Yeah, I think it said live feed at the start. Shifting tendons shape anatomy. Mutation of the heart. So we got stuck in something. It'll probably just get added to like the mass then, right? If it can even use like metals. Oh lord. It's Spider-Man. It is actually Spider-Man. Low signal. Probably been lost now, right? That it? Yep. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the remote operated compact tunneler by Namad. More information regarding the ROCT can be found in your booklet. I didn't get a booklet, guys. Can someone show me theirs? Depth dropped from 150 to 60. Yeah, I honestly wasn't keeping an eye on the depth at all. I wasn't keeping an eye on the depth. Yeah, because it was at 160. 150, 140, 30. This is me. Is this meters? I'm assuming it's meters. That's not even a lot. That's the worst thing. 160. And then when it was stuck in the web, it dropped to 270. Oh, yeah, it's being dragged. Yeah. Yeah, it went to like 579. So somewhere deep, deep, deep. Okay. I I'm still trying to understand the link between them living under the surface and them coming from another planet. I'm still trying to kind of link that together. Deep root disease. Oh, that sounds nice. Sounds inviting. Warner Area, WDH, Department of Health. Hey, Pyro! Big fan! Bit of an off-topic question. 
But your reference cut zombies a lot in your vids. Have you ever considered doing a zombie stream vid? I can do. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'd be down to do it. Fuck yourself for putting those letters in at the end. You asshole. For, 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 for. You, you said, it, what, 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 why did that sound like Joe Biden? Why did that sound like Joe Biden? That actually sounded like Joe Biden. Hang on. Thank you, Kamala. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Let me close with what I've long said. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot him uh, foot, foot excuse me, the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping, traveling with him. I guess we traveled 17,000 miles when I was vice president. I don't know that for a fact. And uh, we were sitting alone. I had an interpreter. You could see fucking Kamala trying to not laugh at that. Said, foot, excuse me, the foothills of the Himalayas. The foot, the foot, the Deep root disease, an educational film. You will die soon, an educational film. Sections, roots, contraction, bulbs, diagnosis, sprouts. Thank you, Tweev. Tweevy for the sub. Roots. Roots begin to form from the underside of bulbs once rooting stage begins. The speed of the growth increases as rooting stage progresses. I feel there'll be an overlap here between like this and all the veins and shit we just saw. The base of the root swells as growth continues and the surrounding area becomes discolored. Oh, that's just a human bone, right? The roots will continue forming until coming into contact with the bone. Yeah. Once contact is made, the roots are able to spread freely. Okay, so th this is basically walking you through the infection, right? So it works like an infection. It's not uh, necessarily like a complete instant like swap. The following demonstration will explain how an individual may contract deep root disease. Oh, he's sleeping. Leave him alone. He's sleeping. He's baby. I need that kidney. <laughs> He's having a murmur, he's having a snooze. Typically appearing on any normally exposed part of the body, arms, legs, neck, etc. Bulbs are the first visible sign of deep root disease. Bulbs can range from 2cm to 10cm across, meaning the growth may remain unnoticed for any amount of time. For the first few hours of appearance, bulbs feel hollow and may be pressed down with ease. Once rooting stage begins, the bulb will become solid and those affected may experience pain when pressure is applied to the area. The area will become inflamed as rooting stage progresses and small sores may appear around the affected area. As rooting stage reaches its climax, these lumps will begin to form more rapidly. Inflammation then abruptly halts as sprouting begins. Diagnosis. Thank you, Chublisa, for the sub. If you if you believe somebody you know has contracted deep root disease, proceed with this very simple diagnosis test. Check for a bulb, unexposed skin, for erratic muscle spasms. They're home for unrecognizable smells. Ask if they can recall their mother's name. If they have stopped dreaming. If they have felt new bones. What, what if someone has like dementia or something, bro? If four or more of these tests describe an individual you know, they have become something else. Proceed with protective safety measures. Grandpa's a skinwalker. No, don't, don't say that, you piece of shit. <laughs> piece of shit.
Nice. I would shake that hand. I would shake that hand. Holy shit, just got dragged away. Oh lord. Poor little fella. It's like me when I've got to get up at like 7am and I slept in past two minutes. Deep root disease. Okay, so that kind of explains how the infection spreads. So, so we know it's an infection now. Still a little bit vague, but it's we, we at least know it's an infection. So that's like another little piece we know. On the last third now. So this is monthly progress report. Thank you, Virtual John, the sub. Oh my god, we're on hype train level one, guys. Oh my god. No, Regnard again. Regnard. Monthly progress report. Cool to hear you like head zombies. Do you enjoy the lore, or are you just in for the gameplay of it, or both? I the the the, the law the law's okay. I think the law's okay. I think I prefer the uh, I prefer the gameplay a lot more though. The, the law's interesting. I'll kind of binge it at like two in the morning, but I've never really been like too infatuated with it. Project information, project name, proj infrared, manager Duncan Parnell, organizer Kennedy Silver, ACL manager Alexis Moore. Status active, progress 84% completed, client active, communication available. Thank you, uh... I hate mushrooms for the gifted, and Greggies for the sub. Project description, a study of assisted technological progress via artificial... Oh, let me read, let me read! Via artificial computer learning for the following purposes. Thank you, uh, Man Man Game for the sub. To predict and prevent future technological failures to advance in the field of technology discovery, especially computer processing and memory. Computer processing, predictive advancement, failure avoidance, and ACL communication. Okay. Developments throughout the month of October have led to a drastic increase in graphical capabilities for Regnad brand personal computers. Oh, it's from the game. That literally is from the game. The above image displays a video game demonstration created to showcase the graphical capabilities possible with recent advancements. Looks like Petscop. Thank you, uh, Less For More, for the sub, Sir Spaghetti, and uh, Kalis. Predictive Advancement ACL. Gradual improvements to the ACL, <clears throat> ACL influence have led to the predictive advancement accuracy to reach unprecedented heights. A total of 15 simulations have been run during the month of October, with each test giving new insight into unprecedented technological advancements. With the help of ACL and our client, we are expected to pass all of our competitors within the year in the field of graphics, Glad to know RAM, you enjoy and processing the lore power. Somewhat. Would move to watch you play the game. To be. Oh shit! Five thousand bits. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I probably will. I probably will stream COD Zombies at some point for sure. I think uh, we can all agree the latest one is shit, though. Cold War wasn't too bad. By running hypothetical scenarios through the ACL system, we have successfully avoided twenty-three. Technological failures in Regnad's computing future. This would not have been possible without the support and wisdom from our client who spearheaded our artificial computer learning projects. That's one thing I've noticed about this series, actually. There's not really like a main character. There's actually no characters in this. You get names and stuff of people that come and go, but like Mandela and like uh, Walton Files and all that, there's always like central characters that you remember. But yeah, w with this, there's actually no real characters, which is kind of interesting. Regnad is danger backwards. Oh yeah. Bit on the nose. ACL communication. All communications made with our client throughout the month of October have been recorded via the ACL monitor room and will now be showcased on this tape. Ah, oh, so the computer's infected as well, then. 
All systems online. Activating transmitter array. Is that a ladder? Transmitter array active. Dev, Dev, th this has some of the growth on it, right? I can't really... I mean, that, that looks like growth there. Uh, it's a bit hard to tell, but these wires have definitely been, like, forked and stuff. So, are they trying to, like, communicate with uh, the funny alien? Oh, shit, we got raided. Oh, Manifold. Thank you for the raid, man. Appreciate it. We made it, boys. We actually made it. We made it. We made it into the big leagues. We got raided by someone bigger than us. Welcome, everyone. Someone joined and said, fuck the British people. You came from a British streamer onto another British streamer. Like, what else do you want? Let me go back on this a little bit. Entering prompt. Uh, to, to anyone that's just joined, by the way, we're doing like a funny uh, YouTube horror series. So, uh, yeah. We're, we're a little bit deep in at the minute. Jack fell off. Monka true. He hosted me just so I host him back when I get like 20k viewers to stream. Prompt entered earth. Client ready for speaker. Activating speaker. Where's the speaker like located at though? Speaker active. Receiving iteration. Running iteration. Thank you, Eric the Crusader for the sub. Mary sees the gateway die. It's light hearted. Sleeping ones are eaten whole. The vessel floats into the moor. The jaw and hit. Is, th th is this them trying to like communicate with the iris then, the planet? Because that's what I gather, I'm assuming. Prompt ended, moonlight. Receiving iteration, running iteration. New things roam the feeding grounds. The harbinger guards in vain. What's the harbinger though? Mary hears a creaking sound. The hungry eye is welcomed. Ending iteration, entering prompt. Well, what's the harbinger then? Prompt, enter Jack. Jack was the guy who had the dreams, right? I think. Running iteration. Jack is with us now. Jack is with us now. It's just going to repeat, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he went to sleep. Jack is us now. Yeah, I'm assuming they were trying to communicate with the planet there. That was weird. Yeah. That was the planet, like, overhead. Oh no, that's a quite a spooky. Final words. In short, the progress made throughout the month of October has drastically increased our technological capabilities. Our client's influence on the ACL system has allowed for more tremendous progress to be made. We expect to meet our client in person in as little as seven months. Oh, so the planet is coming. Okay. That was weird. So, so I, I'm kind of guessing it works a little bit like the flood then from Halo, right? Like it's like all consuming kind of thing. It's like a parasite or something. Uh, that one was really cool. So you got Christmas Eve party. Okay. The VCRs are made by the aliens. Probably. Who's that behind you? Don't do that shit, man. Stop it. It, 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 the first 20 times. Moonlight Acres Family Camp, 1985 Christmas Eve party. Thank you, Darkest Poe, for the sub. Coordinator Barry Johnson. Hang on, let me get this name again. Coordinator Barry Johnson, videography. Jack Dean, Mary Dean, photography. Bew Nadler. Tape produced for distribution by Gemini Home Entertainment.
Para, look at your monitor. Sh Shut up. Ugh. I could just pull out my phone right now, actually. I could just pull out my phone. Well, this doesn't look very scary. What can happen here, guys? In this YouTube horror series. Uh, thank you, Sloth, for the five gifted, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ugh. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, kind stranger. I'm assuming this is like a Christmas thing and everyone's going to die by the, the wood crawlers. Or whatever they're called. Skinwalkers. Yep. I love taking home videos and just filming like a wall. I, I do that a lot. My, my family did that a lot when I was a kid. You know, Christmas Day, they just film a wall for like 70 minutes. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that actually got me. Okay, that spooked me for a second. Do you, you know like the form where they just look like Among Us though? Is that do they have that form like here? Because they wouldn't be able to fit, would they? Like in trees and stuff. I mean, you can still hear people talking, so I guess they haven't broken in yet. Don't know why you wouldn't just like. Don't look outside, man. You're gonna get jump scared. Oh God. Aha! You guys saw that, right? Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Don't do it, man. Don't you do a jump scare. Don't you do it. Young man, I'm demanding you don't do a jump scare. Oh, it's trying to get in. It's trying to get in. It is Santa. It is Santa. Oh. Oh shit, what the hell is that? Oh my. Dad is on the whiskey. Goodness gracious. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. They got in. Great. It's, someone just ruins it by saying Among Us in real life. <laughs> I hate you. The Lakeside Cabin, home of celebrations. Alex Whitler and videographer Jack Dean. I guess they all died then. Who was the last one left though? Was it was it Dean or Mary? Ah, oh, hi Mary. What's up? How you doing? I guess that's like the mouth then. So, so I'm guessing from that. Hang on. Let, let me let me read the credits again. Blah 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 blah. Barry Johnson. Uh, Jack Dean. Mary Dean. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so Barry, I have no idea. I guess he was inside. So it was two people filming. It was Jack Dean and Mary Dean. I guess Mary was the one outside. Yeah. Mary was the one outside. She probably got killed then. Taken over. And then, like, the iteration of her came to the house. And then, like, killed everyone there. Okay. If that, if that's, if that's what happened, I understand now. If not, then, I don't know. Didn't I just watch this? No, there's another one that's Home Invasion. How many Home Invasions are there? Jesus. Thank you, Diddle, for the sub. I think I'm saying that right. POV, no lean. Yeah, if you gave the monster lean, it would have just been totally fine, honestly. Matt Pat. <laughs> Welcome to Game Theory. 
Matt Pat be like, I'm doing a game theory today. Am I actually made out of candle wax? Find out. Home invasion can be a daunting and stressful prospect. This videotape is intended to ease your stress and prepare you for a home invasion. Step by step, should the moment arise. Well, this is just for Americans, bro. Keep in mind, windows and doors are the most commonly used entrances during home invasions. Ensuring that these areas are locked may prevent or slow home invaders, allowing for authorities to be called. Well, you know, we watched the Mandela catalog a couple days ago. We know the police don't come when you call them. We know that they do not answer. A number of security systems can be installed in a home, including cameras, motion detectors, and alarms. All of these systems may be disabled via blunt force. I mean, not, not an alarm, though, because it's built on a system. Well, some of them are. As most home invasions take place at night, sufficient lighting can successfully stop a home invader before they even reach the house. It, yeah, that, that's one thing I find funny, though, right? Like, in America, you can use a gun to defend yourself if your home gets invaded. In the UK, it's like, I've got a flashlight that changes colours every five seconds. Nyeh. The following is a list of commonly used methods of entry during home invasions. Window entry. Breaking a window can create easy access into the home. Note that this will cause noise that may alert prey. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, audio luring. Vocalizing or making percussive noises against the door may cause prey to be drawn to it, allowing for easy access into the home. I like how we're just watching an alien tutorial video. We're actually watching a tutorial for aliens to invade us. Burrowing. Burrowing underneath the home's foundation can create access into the home from below, allowing for easy access between nests. Nice. So if you're an alien and you want to break into someone's house, easy clap. The following will explain what to do upon entry to a home. I, I, I'm still, I'm sure we're going to learn more about it, but I'm, I'm really interested about the, uh, you know, the storm system they'd set up, like the... Uh, you know when there was like an air raid siren and, and you'd go into that bunker and you had that metal dome with the radio? Like, does that actually do anything or is it complete bullshit? Because we haven't actually been told any way to defend against these things. Okay, pray. Incapacitate pray. Enter pray via proboscis. Okay, so so proboscis is the, is the stuff that comes out of like bugs. So... Yeah, I guess it goes in through their nose or something and then infects them. Okay. Mosquitoes have them. Yeah, yeah, mosquitoes do. Mosquitoes are hot. I hate mosquitoes, man. I, I would never kill a single... Like, bro, I, I am like 24. I step on a snail. I feel so bad for the rest of the day. I am gutted, right? I hate... I, I When I kill a bug, I feel bad. Even a fly. I'm that much of a pussy. But then when I see... Uh, when I see a mosquito, I just slam him instantly. Did someone say mosquitoes are hot? Did someone in chat really say that? Guys. Guys. You're down bad. Guys, come on. So is this someone... Is this one of the... Nah, it's not one of the infected, right? Because why would you film it? I'm going to vlog it to my alien bros back on Mars. I love these videos, man. Like this in the Mandela catalog, how it's just filmed in like people's bedrooms. It's, it's so genius. It's so good. Oh. Is that a person? Oh, shit. Yeah, so that's like... They're, they're, they're like trying to... I'm assuming they're trying to imitate people that they've killed, but they haven't actually taken full form yet, right? Like that last video we watched with the uh, the bulbs and stuff and the, the, the plants spreading. Yeah, they haven't taken full form yet. So I'm assuming they completely dissolve the bodies of the people that they take over. Nice. Don't zoom in, bro. You're just asking to be jump scared. Don't do it. Young man, stop. Who gave this kid the iPhone zoom feature? Body's like completely hollow. His pupils widening. Oh 
gold. Get out of there, bro. No, you, you stay there. You actually stay there. Like, asking to be, like, trick shotted. Someone's gonna, like, dolphin dive down the stairs with a Barrett 50 cal. That's a moron. Yeah. He stays, by the way. He sees a dead body look at him and spider legs, and he stays. You're an idiot. I, I have no. I don't even care if you get killed. No sympathy. No sympathy. Actual moron. I see a body. What am I gonna do? Tell the police? No. I'm gonna keep filming. Do you know how many hits this will get on YouTube? Imagine like th this is meant to be set in like the 90s or 80s, right? Like VHS era. Could you imagine this happening in modern day? You'd have some guy. You'd have like some Andy Milanakis looking guy. He walks into the haunted house, right? He's got like this whole like 5G strap on around him so he can like broadcast wirelessly anywhere. He'll have like the the, the selfie stick, the selfie stick. He's just like, you know, like vlogging around all the room and stuff. You've got like, he'll have that 360 camera. You know the 360 camera you get in YouTube videos? Just have that, like, so you can see, like, a full degree while he's being, like, impaled and killed. Anyway. This is Crusader Probe Mission. I think it's the last one of the normal ones. Don't pretend you wouldn't watch it. Oh, no, I'd watch it. I would watch someone being killed from the safety of my home, 100%. I didn't say strap on. I didn't say strap on. I said strapped on. Crusader 5, introduction. After 12 long years, Crusader 5 successfully completed its planetary flyby mission, resulting in a plethora of new data and photographs. Oh, this is some funky music. Crusader 5, during its mission, it photographed Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune. Okay. So, Saturn was the gateway, Neptune was the lens, right? That's what I remember. Jupiter. Crusader reached Jupiter in 82. Successfully Joe Biden moment. Foothills. Foothills. Successfully photography. Oh my god. Joe Biden. Get out of my head, Joe Biden. Successfully photographing. Photographing. Photograph. Joe Biden. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Successfully photog... I can't say the word. I'm having Joe Biden. Joe Biden got in my head. Joe Biden. Joe Biden actually got out, got in my head. He got in my brain. He's he's clinging onto like my brainstem right now. Crusader reached Jupiter June 1982. Successfully photographing. Photographing. <laughs> photographing. The foot 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 hills, foot hills. Successfully photographing a number of the gas giants' moons in the process. Photographing. Photographing. Joe Biden, get out of my head. Crusader incident timeline, outlining the timeline of events leading up to and during the Crusader incident. Oh man, I, I, I cannot believe I got that wrong so many times. June 1982, Crusader approaches Jupiter. I'm not a skinwalker, guys. Stop it. Thank you, Lucina, for the sub, and a fluffy toaster for the resub. How long did it take to get there? So June... June... July. Okay. So travel pretty fucking quick. Okay. Callisto, moon of Jupiter. Europa, moon of Jupiter. Io. Okay. I I I want I want I want to check if these are real. Callisto. Is Callisto Callisto is real? Jupiter 4 is the second largest moon of Jupiter after Ganymede. Gany Ganymede? So that's real. That's a real moon. Okay. The Callisto's real. I'm just waiting for the one to be made of like uh, these nuts or something. Europa. Okay. Europa. Europa sounds like a real place. Europa moon. Jupiter 2 is the smallest of the four Galilean moons orbiting Jupiter and the sixth closest. Okay. Jupiter's moon may have habitable ice shell. Okay, don't care. What's the next one? Io? Why is it called Io? Yeah, Io is real. Io? Is it Io or Low? Is that. That's I. Yeah, Io. I like how to use a Kendrick Lamar song for reference there. Why is it called. Why is Io called Io? Io 
It doesn't... Oh, yeah, wait, wait. Named by German astronomer, astronomer, Joe Biden. Joe Biden, I'm begging you, man. Please get out of my head. Get out of my head, please. Get out of my head. Stop making me misrepresent words. Astronomer, Simon Marius, who named it after Io for Greek mythology. Okay. Thank you, Immortal, for the resub. December 1985, Crusader approaches Saturn. I got brain worms. No, no. J Joe Biden actually, he's in my brain right now. I just want him out. He's making me, like, mispronounce every word. Titan. Okay, I know Titan's real. Yeah, Titan, Moon of Saturn. I haven't heard of that one. Yeah, they've usually got Greek names, though. Ip. Ipit. No, that's real. Apetus is the third largest natural satellite of Saturn and the 11th largest. So it's not a moon. Is it a moon? What's a satellite? No, not that one. What's a satellite moon? It's a larger object. It's an object that moves around a larger object. Isn't that just the moon? Isn't that just the definition of a moon? It, yeah, no, no, it's it's a, it's a satellite and moon are different. I like, you've got all these people like arguing, telling me how I'm wrong. And then someone at the bottom who's a sub just says le penis. And because he's a sub, I'm going to like take his opinion over everyone else's. Sorry, guys. All right. Chiron. So you say Chiron? Hang on, hang on. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Chiron. Oh my God, I'm based. Chiron. Okay. So that is... It's not a lot of pictures of Chiron. Oh, it's a hypothetical moon. Is it... Uh, is there not even proof of it? Hang on. Okay, guys, I'm going to flashbang the screen. Oh, God. Flashbang. 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 Chiron is the largest of the five known natural satellites of the dwarf planet Pluto. So that's not... That's not real? Hang on. It's a hypothetical moon. Supposed moon. It's since been determined. Okay, so this was found in 1861 by Hermann Goldschmidt. It has since been determined that this moon doesn't exist. How can you... What? Hermann Goldschmidt announced the discovery of the ninth moon of Saturn in uh, 61, which he said orbited between Titan and Hyperion. Goldschmidt's discovery was never confirmed and Chiron was never observed again. Okay, so so that's interesting. They've put a fake moon that never existed into the law. That's kind of cool. So he would have had to do some research for that. September 1991, Crusader approaches Neptune. Could be real. It's a hypothetical moon. Oh, hang on. We got a... What's this? Oh, that's just the... Saturn has 79 moons, each with their own unique characteristics. During its mission, Crusader f photographed... Photographed? Get out, Joe Biden. Photographed two of these moons. Foothills, foothills. The foothills are the, the Himalayas. There's something else there for a sec. Is that readable as well? Jupiter... I can't read any of that. Snared. Shared. I think it's the same thing. I can't read any of that, though. November 1991. Crusader approaches first cluster. Themis. I mean, I can just tell it's not real. Themis, moon of Saturn. Hestia, moon of Jupiter. Cadlu, moon of Uranus. Ceto. Moon of Jupiter. I mean, that's interesting how they, these two are like bound together. Because they use uh, th those spiders, like wood crawlers, use a lot of webbing, right? So. And this, this planet almost looks like it's like being absorbed into that planet because it doesn't look like a perfect circle like this one does. This one looks fun. And Jupiter was the, uh, the gateway, right? Or was it Saturn? Thank you, female, for the resub. Actually, just called female, by the way. Like, I wasn't even doing a bit. December 92, Crusader approaches. Cyst. Moon of Iris. Oh, so Iris was the actual, like, eye. 
Oh, here it's just called Cyst. Umbilic, moon of Vitreus. What the hell is Vitreus? We never shown that planet. Yucus, moon of Iris again. Thank you, Pro Killer, for the sub. Macula, moon of Iris. Spooky. Vitreus, moon of Iris. Hang on. Didn't they just say that Vitreus was a... Hang on. So that's moon of Iris. Our oh, umbilic is the moon of Vitreus. And then Vitreus is the moon of Iris. Okay, so it's got like split off moons. Okay. 93. Crusader experiences sudden gravitational pull. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Don't do it, man. Don't you get pulled in there. That'd be really cringe. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I like how he's like taking photographs while he's being pulled into his death. Like, you know, it's just like, I, I gotta vlog this, bro. That just looks like what uh, the people would like trypophobia have with the, the fear of holes. It's like a bronchial, right? January 93, Crusader enters Esophage, Esophage Grove. The Cyril Passage. Nice. Loads of distant screaming I can hear. So, so we know it came from Iris, 100%. 93, Crusader enters respiratory spinal complex. Yeah, last real passage. Lower sacrilic throat. Yeah, they're, they're talking about it like it's a body, right? I mean, it, it does look like a body, like the inside of a body. Like you've got the ventricles, the veins, the tubing. You've, you've, you've even got like airflow, like it's breathing. Only three, lower sacrilic throat. Crusader approaches conscious mind. Oh. Oh, he actually fell off. He fell off. May 6, 93. Is that Kadikaris' bedroom? What the hell is this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He gonna die. So, so, wait, 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 so I remember in an earlier video talking about people documenting their dreams, there was a guy that had a dream similar to this, right? With someone, like, standing next to their bed, although they weren't, like, a, a wood crawler like this. And then you've- I have no idea what this is. This is like a- this is like an installation in a cave, I have no idea what that is. Maybe, possibly, this is inside Iris, where the drone just went, and there- this, like, secret government thing that was, like, alluded to in, like, one episode. Maybe they've set up an installation inside Iris. Maybe. I'm not sure. Crusader signal lost for seven months. Thank you, Vorbuckle, for the resub. May 94. Crusader approaches Earth. Uh, I'm sure it's got nothing. It's got nothing bad on board. There's no way. It'd have nothing bad on board. Why would it? Crusader 5 Conclusion. Crusader's voyage through space has been thrilling for scientists and space enthusiasts alike, uncovering hundreds of new, exciting possibilities for humanity's future. Thank you, Fancy Side, for the sub. 
Who knows what's in store for Earth next? Ah. That, that's not... Is that how they came to Earth then? Surely not. Crusader Probe mission by Swift Animations. Is it how they came to... No, no, because there's a timeline. There's a timeline. So wait, wait, wait. Like, we haven't actually had any dates, have we, apart from this video? So 94 is when the voyage is coming back to Earth. But I swear, these videos are set way before that. So where, where's the camping one? Because the camping one probably gave us the most... Uh, where was it again? Wilderness Survival? Who is this one? Is the information video? Is there any, like, date given? Oh, there you go. Wait, wait. 1930. Oh, that's just when the company was established. That means nothing. There's no date at all, is there? Because this th this one is probably the most important video, I reckon, out of all of them. This one gives the most context. Yeah, th there's no dates at all with any of these, I swear. You've got, you've got all the people that answered the door, and then they died. Yeah, there's not really a lot to work with there. 34? Are you just saying numbers? Thank you, Crispy Knight, for the resub. I'm not sure. Uh, there's a couple more here, though. I don't know if these are part of the law, though. They might. They probably... I mean, the, the channel's called Gemini, so yeah. Let, let's watch these. Thank you, Robin the Dragon, for the sub. Is there any subs with this? Bo Jaden. Bo Jaden. Is this... Is this a bit of growth in a Petri dish? They're like analyzing the, uh... The wood crawlers, right? That looked like a Petri dish at the start. Yeah, it's like split... Yeah. Sleep image visualization. Barry Johnson began at 2.30, ended 2.34, so this is only four minutes. He's looking at someone through like an opening, right? Like a prison cell or something? That's what I think that was. It's a military installation, not sure where. You're saying that about the moon video we just watched, right? Yeah, okay. Holding room design. Yeah, there's that dome again in the center. Like, I'm really interested to know what if that even does anything. All right, this is what he just dreamed. Yeah. Barry Johnson, assistant activity supervisor. Levi Jacobs, head of security. Metal door with feeding slot. What a beautiful name. Escape hatch. The weird thing is, though, it's got that background, the Moonlight Acres. So, yeah, yeah, I, I remember, okay, I, I know I just, I know I just shown this. I know I just shown this. I really, because th th this has been on my mind, like, so much when, when watching all these videos. I'm seeing if I can find it right now. Yeah, yeah, so Mythos, they, they talked about a Mythos here, and they basically said, there's, there's loads of rumors and shit, they're not real. Yeah, yeah, here you go. In 35, rumors of strange, well-dressed men visiting the camp began to make the rounds. It said that the men would ask to enter the camp's administrator's cabin every night for years. One night, a deal was made with the strange men, and they left the camp never to be seen again. Now, I'm wondering, like, is this the first instance of the aliens, or is this, like, a secret government, like, sect or something that knows that they exist? Like, like G-Man shit, right? Because that would make sense, because then they've constructed this on where the acres are, because you've got the Moonlight Acres logo in the background. Someone in the chat just said Joe Biden. No, it wouldn't be Joe Biden, because Joe Biden would walk in the office and be like, the, 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 the foothills. <laughs> July 16th, 91, six days into self-quarantine. Why is he in quarantine, though? Is he Has he been infected? I like this lingering, bro. I really like this lingering and nothing happening. Something is going to jump out any second. Fish. 
figure one. Yeah, this will probably show the infection, I'm assuming. Oh, it's progressing. Yeah, yeah. So that was figure... Figure one. So if that is an infection, it would have started in like... He probably got it like there. In his shoulder. And then it's spread all over. What One thing that's interesting though, you can see with that face there that he's making on figure like... All the figures are the same. But then on figure four, he looks like that. That's the same face that was shown in the VHS video for the kids game. You know, and there's like a crying face when, when they got the game wrong. That's the exact same face, I think. August 6th, 91. 27 days into self-quarantine. So this is a while. It's been in quarantine for a while now. It's not a Wojak, guys. Come on. There's something chewing outside. The funny thing is, he's in quarantine. He's basically in the safest spot out of anyone. Oh, is it going to keep going? That's right. Okay, so now we know. So they go from human... Okay. Move your content pyre been watching for years and it's always been my favorite content. Oh, thank you, Drowsy Trooper. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the thousand. So so we, we know now that they go from that human form to the to the weird tree looking thing. Okay. So so that I'm I'm still a little bit confused, so Oh maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. Okay, so so this form here, the fourth one. Maybe that's the stage where they do all the baiting and shit, you know, where they're screaming out in the wilderness, like, help me, help me, like, to bait more people. And then maybe when that doesn't work, when they can't find any new victims, then they do the, the next stage, and then they start turning into, like, a tree. Because that, that was called nature's hallucination or something, this thing, because that's been documented before. Okay, what happens next, though? So they turn into like branches and stuff, but then what happens? Like, do they just? I'm I'm assuming I'm assuming what happens to them? They they just turn. If they can't find another victim, they just turn into like more food for the soil, which eventually makes it makes its way into the nest. Right? That's that's what I gathered from it. Thank you, fragile and stock images for the resub. Oh, this is like some three D like G mod shit. Staff prepare to enter holding room following estimated incubation time. Staff are equipped with protective suits to avoid contact with deep root. Oh, wait, so we were filming from the perspective of the security manager the whole time. I thought it was the, uh, I thought it was the guy inside the cell. Right, okay. Oh, shit, you can see the roots in the corner. Uh-oh. Douglas Adams. Mostly harmless. Was he, re was he reading a book on like how humans mostly harmless? <laughs> it's kind of genius. This is cool though, because this you can tell that this is all like 3D modeled. This isn't real. That's really cool. I think I think that's what the guy wanted to do with uh, the third part of the Mandela catalog. Yeah, so he's just completely turned into like a tree now. This is like John Carpenter's like the thing stuff, right? They just turn into like a complete monster. That's crazy. What's happening? Someone got infected and they turned into a tree. Oh, that's the original body then. It barely looks like a skull now. An interview is performed to assess Barry Johnson's psychological... He's still alive? <laughs> How are you feeling, sir? Oh my god, they're actually doing it. Do you know who you are? 
when the perks hit. I mean, he won't even be talking to him anymore, will he? He'll just be talking to the iris, like the planet. Oh, it's moving. I can invest. I, I like how everyone here has a schlap mic, man. Like, invest in better shit. Yeah, it's just imitating them. I reckon, I reckon it's doing that, I, I reckon it's doing that Doctor Who shit, right? Where it's like, it, it imitates you and then it like takes on what, what, what is being said to it, like it learns. The interior of Barry Johnson is discovered to be occupied. Camp staff initiate protective safety measures. Lol. What was inside it then? Was it... Oh, fuck off. Don't end there, you piece of shit. I guess... Uh, hang on. Let's look at the comments. Put words together. Let's see awareness being spread about the dangers of deep root. No, it's really cool. It's a really cool concept. Like, I'm, I'm thinking, like, what was inside it, though? Because it said... The interior of Barry Johnson is discovered to be occupied. So, did it have, I'm, uh, what I'm thinking it has inside of it is a complete perfect copy of the guy to replace, maybe? But that goes against what I just said. Oh, you think it's a wood crawler? Oh, like, like one of the Among Us looking things? Could be occupied by Joe Biden. Yeah, the, 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 the foothills. Foot, 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 foot Moonlight Acres family camp. So this is called Wretched. Wretched hands. When did this come out? This came out two months ago. This one actually has subtitles though. Okay. The following segment utilized a live feed of Lake Mountbank in Canada during its broadcast. Approx 25 minutes before first attack. National Weather Service forecast. Tonight, mostly cloudy. Lows around 25. Light snow around 12 with brief harsh winds throughout the night. Local temperature 35. Thank you for zooming in. Thank you, Mama Rollin, for the resub. Oh, shit. Is that like an explosion? Yeah. So I'm assuming one of the wood crawlers like tunneled out of the ground, right? They, they tunneled out of the ground because they all live in nests down there and stuff, so that would make sense. May 3rd, 46. Curtis, come down to the camp this weekend. Fulton and I have devised a plan on how we can continue to uphold the deal without giving in to these beings' abhorrent demands. Richard has seen a bear lurking near the boys' cabins. We'll go out and shoot it. If the statue wants a sacrifice, we will have to settle for this. I will be a pawn no longer. Curtis, I tell you this with complete certainty. If I could do it over again, I would have never have made that deal. Glenn Arthur. Ah, oh, right, okay, that, that makes sense then. So it's some moron that made a deal with like, I don't know, some eldritch being, I guess, to bring his wife's son back or something. May 1946. Wretched hands tap my window. The stranger's fangs scrape the walls. So I guess someone made a deal with something and it brought all this shit into our world or something. Maybe? Right thigh. You filming thighs in public, bro? What's wrong with you? You, Nadler. You Nadler, that 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 was that was the name of someone, right? Nick, neck region. Wasn't wasn't Bu Nadler the name of name of one of the people or something? 
I forget. Neck region, underside. You, Nadler. Oh, from the Christmas thing? Lloyd. Michaels. Alright, so it is like an all-consuming thing. It just like binds everything together. Christine Hoyt. So is this one of those huge things that like walks? Oh no, this is something different, right? Jesus. Darcy Organ. Yeah, it's just killed everyone in the village, hasn't it? And just like combined them into like a flesh stump or something. Mary Dean. Thank you, Chad Thunderknob, for the resub. Glenn Arthur. These are all the, uh... This killed people at the Christmas party. It was the bear corpse. Further comparison suggests an exponential increase in organism deterioration since mutation. Organism has since lost all resemblance to a bear. Right, it was a bear that killed them. Okay. Shit. Aw, oh, man. I wish there was more now. Man! Aw, oh, I wish there was more now. Wait, channel surfing? Is this new? Oh, this is unlisted. That was cool, though. That was really cool. Alright, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to dip. Thank you, uh, Nappin, for the resub. I'm going to dip, guys. I'll probably be streaming tomorrow, but thank you all so much for joining. Uh, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later.